There we go. Welcome to Tokyo Dark. To be perfectly honest, I don't know that much about this game. It is a uh, point-and-click adventure game. It was released back in 2017, I believe? Since then, it's been uh, remastered, released for the Switch. This is, this is the original Steam version. I've had this in my library for quite a while, but never got around to actually playing it. But, from what little I do know, it is, uh... quite the dark, interesting tale, so to speak. So things are looking good on your end. I was tinkering to see how things sounded a little bit beforehand. But it seems like we could handle this. But I think we're as good and ready as we're gonna be to get spooky. Yes, we're going to start a new game. The only reason I have any sort of progress on this is because I had to actually load into the game at the very beginning just to tinker with settings and the like. So. Oh, yes, please. Consider your actions. The decisions you make will change the world around you and how your story unfolds. Autosave makes every decision final. There is no going back. Click to continue. Right in. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. I'm gonna say it doesn't keep my settings from previous. Uh, it does look amazing. I'm not gonna lie. But for what I, for what I understand. This is sort of the uh, how the game tracks our decisions throughout. Sammy, professionalism, investigation, and neurosis. I'm quite curious. For that matter, how, how do things sound uh, volume wise? Everything coming off all right? <laughs> oh, I can probably, yeah, jump out of here. Okay. Sounds, sounds fine on your end? Hell yeah. When I close my eyes, she's always there. Smiling. Always smiling. Ooh! Ooh. What's this? From the grimy fabric of the train seat, I recognize a familiar face. Oh, hello. 
Tanaka. What's your badge doing in a place like this? Detective Tanaka Kazuki, Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, Criminal Investigations Bureau, Fourth Division. Where are you? Why is your badge bleeding on me? Oh. Hi. Ito, where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. Guess this means you've heard about his phone. Uh, yeah, Saki told me. I'm on my way to Shinjuku now. I couldn't wait for the uniforms and miss another chance. We've narrowed down the GPS signal to a back alley in the east part of town. We're the only detective I trust that's near it. That said, I'd be an idiot not to send it in, not to send in a team behind you. Lucky for us, it doesn't look like it's moved in the last 40 minutes. What's your ETA? I should be there in about 10 minutes. How long until your team arrives? At this rate, about 20 minutes behind you. You know, we have no idea what you're walking into, so no heroics. Find the phone, discover what you can about how it got there, and then report straight back to HQ. Understood? Yes, sir. I know this one's been especially tough for you. He's your partner, and I understand that you want to be the one to bring him home, but... well... Are you going to be okay being back in the field? You know it's been a while since the, uh, incident. So you can't blame me for being a little hesitant. Remember to keep an eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing the escape key. I'm taking a big risk and trusting you with this, Ito. Can't have another repeat of Kamakura. Kamakura? I'm fine, sir. I have everything under control. Report in once I find the phone. Behind the pleasantries, it's plain as day that Yukimura still doesn't trust me to be on my own. That day Tanaka went missing the uniforms completely ruined the crime scene. There's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Tanaka. I'll be there soon. But are you Izuru Kamakura? Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Five days ago, my partner, De Detective Kazuki Tanaka, vanished after leaving police HQ. She do walk. She walking. There was no sign of him, and we have no leads. In one of the most populous cities on Earth, he simply disappeared. That is until an hour ago when his phone was mysteriously switched on. Tracing it led me here, to this grimy road on the east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happened to this part of town. Oh? Is that a walking tutorial? Look. In my opinion, the smaller a chicken skewer place is, the better. At least that's what I used to tell Tanaka. Can we enter? I'm closed. Not like I have time for chicken tonight anyways. Look. A shabby looking bar with a butterfly logo on the sign. Butterfly Club. A hostess bar. Watered down booze exchanged for fake smiles and a girl to laugh at your jokes. On a normal night, there's no way I'd look for Tanaka here. Tonight's not exactly normal, though. Into the Butterfly Club? What else we got over here? Why are you telling me to. So, so it's interesting. We can only, we only trigger these by getting close to them, which is neat. I like that. Oh, hello. Oh boy. First person. Talk. Hello there. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Hmm. Could smell the cop on you the minute you step through the door. Yeah, sure. Ask away. Make it quick. It usually starts getting busy around now. Oh, okay. Uh. Little static effects on. Something like that. 
Had any strange customers tonight? Seen anyone out of the ordinary? It really is atmospheric so far. T you, for a start. But no, detective. It's business as usual. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Listen, honey, as much as I'd love to keep shooting the breeze, if you want to keep talking, you can buy a drink like everyone else. Fair enough. This hostess seems pretty cagey. She might open up after a drink. But then again, maybe not. Be careful here. Why not? Can't hurt. Alright, I could afford to take a load off. Take a shot of whiskey on the rocks. This might be a bad idea. Oh. Oh. Animation. Virtual is a minus ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You serious? Uh, okay. <laughs> Most cops don't exactly order drinks out in the open. But you did say we couldn't keep talking without a drink. Now I've had my drink, so get talking. What do you want me to say? Listen, lady, I don't know the place. I just work here. So if this is some sort of sting or something, leave me out of it. It's bad enough It's bad enough to have mouth breathers like Goto over there chatting me up all night. Don't worry, it's not a setup. I think there's been some bad things happening in this part of town tonight, is all. Hell yeah, we're going to Tokyo Dark Rev, eh? Huh, bad things, huh? You a rookie? No, not by a long shot. Well, you sound like one. Bad stuff happens here all the time. Seems like every other day I'm hearing whispers of someone getting beaten or a scam going on. Anyone whisper to you tonight? No, as a matter of fact, they haven't, officer. Now, as stimulating as that conversation was, I'm all out of goodwill for tonight. Good luck, l good luck, lady. Well? I don't have any more to say. Can't you see I'm busy? You didn't really get much out of that. Speaking of bad decisions... Evening, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, ooh, and what are you supposed to be, then? I think this one's with the police, honey. Yeah, she's, she's quite busy. Detective, Detective Ito, Tokyo Metropolitan Police. Uh, police, sir? Uh, my name's Goto. Is the gun real, too? Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Maybe you can show me your gun and I can show you mine. <laughs> Charming. I hope we stick to the questions. You seem like a regular. Have you seen this man tonight? Ah, I don't know. See those glasses, Detective Otto? My eyesight's not so good. Why don't you come over here and sit on my knee and take a closer look? I'll pass. <laughs> Listen, I tried to help you. Don't want it. That's fine with me. Uh, bye! Oh, that was a weird transition. That's uh, it. That didn't help. That was a bad idea. Look, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> Small bar doesn't seem to have a lot of customers, so that there's a good view of the street from the from the storefront. Oh, it's in here. Back entrance to a shuttered store. I can't get in. Oh hi, bro. Pat a dawn. It's me. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? No problem at all. You can call me Daiso if you want. I, uh, haven't uh, done anything wrong, have I? Uh, no, nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me, actually. Have you seen this man? Maybe sometime tonight. Hold on, mind if I take another peek at that picture? Sorry, I don't think I've seen him after all. Are you positive? <laughs> yeah, I definitely remember. 
See, to be honest, business hasn't been so great. <laughs> have, have you seen him, my cat? Now you have. So I haven't seen much of anyone lately, and I definitely remember a guy like that. Mostly I just sit here alone, wiping down the counter over and over again. Can't say, I th can't say I thought this was what I'd be doing at the old bar in Shinjuku, you know? Not to mention honest guys like me are being driven out of business around here. All the other places like that hostess club at the, club at the street are cutting corners. <laughs> oh, the alley outside. All my uh, fancy shakers up here aren't drawn in the business. I have two things on tap. Clapping my ass cheeks keeps scaring away the customers. Um. Sorry to hear that, Daiso. I've got one more question, if that's okay. You have a pretty good view of the alley from up here. See any, seen anything unusual out there tonight? Usual? Now that you mention it, when I went out back before, before, I thought I heard a ringing sound coming from inside one of the dumpsters. It just kept ringing and ringing. Speaking of rings, I had to pull in my wedding ring to pay this month's rent. My wife heard about that. Next thing, the dumpster might be me. <laughs> oh, poor Di poor Daiso. Anything else? <sighs> Neurosis plus one. Oh no. Sorry, didn't mean to. Well, did it again. <laughs> it is a very charming bar. I would not mind. Graffiti. Whatever was drawn on some whatever was drawn on, someone tried scrubbing off, but gave up halfway. Doesn't look like anyone's been home for a while, but I wonder who'd want to live on a street like this anyway. Oh, keypad. This looks fancy. Such a grimy looking door, that sure is a fancy lock. Without a the code, there's no way I'm getting in. What's this? The small old wooden emblem on the door is so worn I can't make it out. Makes you wonder what kind of stores used to be here before it was cannibalized by bars. Hmm, you did mention dumpsters. Shoot lock! Look. What a stitch. Pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. Listen. No doubt about it, that's Tanaka's phone, all right. But who would have put it there? The silhouettes of... Yeah, I do like... That's a really cool touch. The silhouettes of people just go passing through the alley. What can we see here? Blood? No, only fresh red paint. The whole thing reminds me of Kamakura and that girl. There's no time to dwell on the past tonight. I have work to do. Some sort of warehouse or storage building. No clue what, kind of, what type of company it belongs to, but the dumpsters are definitely theirs. Can we enter? Oh! Bye! Inspect lock. Damn. No way I could pry it apart or jimmy it open. I'm running out of time. It needs only one solution. I can't believe that worked. Wait, Ayumi, I, what are you doing? I can't use my gun like that in public. Good thing no one saw me. That was probably a bad idea. Eh. We are very unprofessional. But we're still professional. We haven't quite... lost that... yet. What? Let's open the dumpster. That must be it. A filthy paper bag surrounded by a swarm of flies. The rain is coming from inside. We need to fish it out there and get a closer look. As I draw nearer, the familiar metallic scent of blood drips into my nostrils. Written on the bag are two characters I know very well. Ah, among me. What the 
hell is going on here? I don't like the sound of this. But in the gruesome red masses to knock his phone, I slide the phone out, overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. Hello? Yeah, who is this? I, yeah, I do wonder. Maybe if, if I had decided to stick around in the uh, warehouse, could have found something in there. Hello, who is this? Oh, you finally picked up. I knew you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami-chan. Do you know my name? Where's Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Shh, Ayami-chan. Shh, shh. Tanaka's right here with me in the sewer. Come down. There's something I want you to see. Leave Bloody Bag for police. When Chukibota's backup sees this, the forensics team will be far behind. Make sure they don't miss it so it can be analyzed properly. Freshness is a plus one! Yeah! Good, the bag is still there. Look, anyone is going to be stealing something as gruesome as that. Nose is minus one. That's good. Hmm. Should I go into the, uh... Yeah, let's go into the warehouse. Oh, I don't like the sound of... Hey. Whoa, 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 lady, we're closed. What are you doing in here? Did you just see that girl? See what now? The lights were flickering, so I came over, came over, but the only girl I see is you. You all right, lady? You're, like, really pale. Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, this is, like, uh, private property, so if you don't go, I'm gonna have to go in, like, uh, talk to the police. Uh, you're talking, you're talking to the police. You're a cop? Whoa, what, what timing officer? Sir, ma'am. Uh, I think I heard a gunshot or something outside. Uh, I mean, I don't know what a gun sounds like, but I've seen movies. I was gonna go out to talk to the cops, but, like, I thought, what if the guy's still out there? He'd totally waste me. I just decided to wait it out, you know? Maybe this guy would have opened the lock for us. Good thing you showed up. He seems to acknowledge that we shot the lock open. Hey, do you smell whiskey? Uh, no. That must be your imagination. Did you see anyone outside tonight? A hundred dumpsters, maybe. Wow, he acknowledged the drink we had as well. <laughs> No, man, I would know. Those dumpsters are part of my responsibilities and stuff, and I'm pretty observant. The boss is, like, super harsh about making people sure people don't, like, uh, tamper with them or whatever. Anyway, you're super sure no one's outside trying to kill me, right? Because I gotta go and, like, uh, finish my duties, uh, later. <laughs> okay, yeah, some person might be pretty safe to say that that guy could have gotten the lock open for us. Maybe. We... Okay. Sewer drain. Okay. I have work to do. Enter the sewer. Damn, the bars won't budge. The red paint is on both the inside and outside of the drain. And so someone around here must know how to get in. Oh, oh you're back. No, you're not back. Nothing to us to see here. So bye. Hmm. That is weird. <laughs> Alright, Daiso? Sorry to bother you again, Daiso, but do you know anything about the storm drain at the end of the alley? Uh, nah, no worries, Detective. Now that you mention it, and you might not believe me, but I swear a fat guy in a I swear a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there a few days ago along with some girl. That's where I saw a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there? It's kinda infamous around here. Probably at one of those hostess clubs as usual. Maybe the butterfly club. Hopefully he stays there. Anyway, that storm drain's bad news if you ask me. I'd steer clear of it. Oh no, we have to talk to him again. Red paint. 
Have you seen someone around here carrying a bucket of red paint? Hmm? Paint? No, I guess not. I mean, I was, wasn't really looking for it, I guess. Why do you ask? I noticed a couple of red marks near the sewer. Hopefully it's nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out and make sure to let you know if I see anything. Oh, I guess we have nothing to say to you anymore. Bye. Fortunately, we have to go talk to Goto. Sewer. Excuse me. I'm going to witness who says someone fitting your description has entered the storm drain at the end of the street before. Any chance that was you? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Hmm. Threaten. Oh, no. Mm, I don't like this at all. Threaten. Don't play dumb with me. I know you've been in that sewer. Tell me how to... Tell me how you get in. Now. I... Oh, wow. Holy shit. That escalated quickly. <laughs> the hell you think you are? You can hear what some assholes said about me, lady. I know you take women in there. If you want to leave this bar with the necessary parts to be with one again, I suggest you start talking. Yeah, I, 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 sorry about the misunderstanding. There's a sh shrine in that sewer. I go down there to, uh, uh to stuff. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't remember asking you what you do down there. I asked you how you get down there. Now start talking. All right, all right. Just leave me alone. There's a trick to opening the grate. Just the leftmost bar to the right and the one next to it to the left. And they come off. Then you can crawl inside. There. You happy now? Now just leave me alone. Pressure is at minus five. Goodbye. So I descend with the heavens once again. Yeah, a little bit of police brutality. Okay. Twist the pipe. And we're in. Lights. Someone has strung up some cheap lights haphazardly along the ceiling. We had a vain attempt at creating an intimate atmosphere. Photo. Uh. Oh my god! Oh god, I was not ready for that. Oh god. Oh, seeing that probably took a few years off my life. Photo was in good shape, and I can guess it was probably taken recently. Oh, dear God. I regret my... Yeah, that, that reduced my sanity, too. Uh... Good Lord. What the fuck? <laughs> uh... I did... Uh, I did not need that in my life. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, my... God. <laughs> a thin, freshly painted line of red paint runs slowly down the wall towards the well. The true horror, indeed. Is that blood? Uh -huh. Same fresh paint used on the wall and the drain outside. Who painted it must be close. gamble, but I could try getting down there barehanded. Kind of think there's something around here I could use to climb down more safely, though. Shrine go. gate. I wonder what this shrine gate's going to, doing down here after all this time. Maybe the builders were too superstitious to destroy it when the sewer was built. Could climb down. Oh, yeah. Rope on salary man. He's down. Oh, God. He's down here often. That's a possibility that he has that rope on him tonight. Should take this photo to remind him. Well. Well. Unfortunately, we have to go talk to Goto again. 
we've roughed him up, and now it's time to blackmail him, I suppose. Everything is fine. Rope. I reason to believe you might be carrying a rope on you. I need it. Ah, you again. I thought you said you'd leave me alone already. Anyway, I didn't know anything about some rope or whatever. I don't have time for this. Uh, why was that? Why was there a... Uh, that kind of thing isn't illegal. <laughs> well, in your case, it definitely should be. But no, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do it, though, however, is. And this picture is pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene, don't you think? Hey, now. Why, say, why don't you I trade you? I'll give you that rope. You can give me that picture. I was just about to suggest something similar. And since I keep the rope and the picture in exchange, you get to stay out of jail tonight. Fine, fine, just take it. You know what? I'm starting to think you might not be my type. I t we are going for a very unprofessional run. But you know what? Fair enough. I just couldn't bring myself to flirt with him. Okay. Use rope to climb down. Rope is thin, I know it's been used, but it's all I've got. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh! Well, that was weird. What's our unprofessionalism at, anyways? Minus 24! Well, our sanity is taking a big hit. We're still rather stable. Yeah, let's hope. Let's see. Let's take this slow. Uh. <sighs> Hello there. At long last, I found Kaz I found Kazuki. His hands were bound, and his head was covered by a dirty, blood-stained sack. I'm gone in all but in all business, ready to handle the situation quickly. Get everyone home safe go back to our normal life. My plans went out the window the minute I made out his captor's face. It was a face I knew very well. Six months ago in Kamakura, Kazuki and I encountered her in a hostage situation gone wrong. She died. The cold eyes and unhinged smile that stared at me from the shadows at the end of the tunnel belonged to a girl six months dead. I stood frozen to the spot, unable to speak as I faced down the impossible. It must be a trick. That's what my subconscious whispered to me over and over to drown out the sound of my beating heart. The girl wasn't, surpri wasn't surprised to see me. In fact, it seemed that my shock and surprise was what she was wanted to see all along. The fact remained that I was alone. I hadn't told Yukimura where I was, and Tanaka's life was in her hands. It was me and her, a lone detective and a girl straight from a nightmare. Uh, oh god, what? Toto. Police, drop the knife! Ah, straight to business, huh? Not even a hello? Or a long time no see, Ayami-chan? Has been a while, after all. I'm not drawing my weapon, so you have no need for yours. I only want to talk. You do? How cute! You hear that, Tanaka? She wants to talk. That's right, we can work something out. And no one needs to get hurt. Don't worry, Tanaka. I'll get you out of there. Ito, no. Get out of here. Please. Run. It's escalated very quickly. Shh, that's enough out of you. Just stay nice and quiet until us girls are done talking. Well, go on. Talk. I'm waiting. Not so easy when the knife is pointing towards someone you care about instead of some random girl. I'm not falling for it. You're not the same girl. 
That girl is dead. Oh, she is. Well, gee, if I'd known that, it would have saved me a lot of trouble. You keep looking at my knife. What, you don't like it? It's so pretty. No one has to get hurt. No, someone always gets hurt. Besides, I don't want to get... I don't want to hurt Hibayami-chan. No, no. I never want to hurt Tanaka. But I have to. Don't you see? It's the only way. Do you hear that? Voices. Whispers. It's a lot like Kamakura, isn't it, Ame Ayami-chan? <laughs> it worked. It worked. I was right. Now Tanaka will be able to come with me to the dark. What? Things will be different this time. He'll help me find the door and everything will change. I won't be alone anymore. And guess what? Good news. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> No one needs a nasty woman like you. Tanaka says you don't hate me. That what you did in Kamakura wasn't your fault, but I know better. No, no, no. I don't want to think about those things. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's change the subject. Say bye-bye to, to Tanaka. He's coming with me. Oh, shit. Next with the impossible, my mind raced in every direction to come up with a logical explanation. Clothes, the hair, the mannerisms were all the same, but I still didn't believe. It was when she mentioned the voices that my defenses began to wear down. There was no way she could have known about that. I buried it in my reports, and me and Tanaka didn't talk about it. I began to accept that the girl I faced really was this same girl. As I saw the glint of the blade, the smell of the cherry blossoms, I began to mix with the stink of rancid sewage. My command to drop the knife only tightened her grip on the handle and inched closer and closer to Kasaki's throat. I plan on keeping him safe, I had to think of something fast. Oh shit. Attempt to rest. It's about Kamakura. How are you here? In Kamakura, I... I... Murdered me? No, it wasn't like that. I was trying to... To... Do... If that... Snapshot was anything to go by. You were very much the uh, hostage taker then. Ayami, there's nothing you can do. I know it's confusing, but you have to run. It's your only chance to get out of this. Oh, you be a good little be a good little boy and hush now. You know it almost sounds like you feel bad about it. Almost. I wanted in Kamakura was the mask, but you were hiding it from me. I've been searching for it for so long, Ayami-chan. So many different shrines. Then Tanaka showed up. He didn't look at me like I was some sort of rabid little animal. Not like all the others. Oh no, no, not my Tanaka. He wanted to help me. Really help me. I almost believed he would before, before you showed up. We all know what happened after that, don't we? Poof. I woke up in the dark again. <laughs> I can still feel it. It hurt me, Ayami. It hurt me so bad. It was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. I wondered why someone so nice as Tanaka would be with someone so horrible like you. So I went after him instead. He even gave me the mask. What? You don't believe me? Listen, he doesn't care about you, remember? He wants to help me. But the mask wouldn't wake up. Not like it did in Kamakura. It won't work if it's not awake. Oh, but Ayami. It worked. Everyone always called me stupid, but look at me now. Tanaka and I will be together, and I'll finally find the door. The mask, the door, the dark. First, I have to send him there. I'm sorry, Tanaka. It's the only way you could help me. I want you to help me. Please. You promised. And you, Ayami-chan, you can watch. Oh, God. Even though, none, even though none of it made sense at the time, that girl truly believed every word she said. 
When she talked about Kuski, her eyes lit up as if she really believed he was her savior. What do we even do in this situation? The situation was deteriorating, and her grip on the knife hadn't loosened one bit. I had to keep her talking. What's the dark? What is the dark? What are you talking about? I don't need to talk about that. By the way, how is it, how is everything sounding and looking so far, stream-wise, video-wise? Everything good? I am admittedly playing this in full screen, so I can't see OBS right now. After Kamakura, I was there. Every time before that, it's always the same. Deep, deep down, the dark. The dark. The dark is always breathing. Can't you hear it? It's here now. Very close. It won't leave me alone. It follows me all the time. Ever since I was little. At least with the mask, it's quieter. So far, so good? Good. I told you I didn't want to talk about it. I don't want to be alone down there anymore. I won't let it keep me there. I won't. I won't. I won't. I want to sleep. I'm so tired. The dark, it's in my dreams. It's there every time I wake up. He'll help me sleep. He'll help me once he can see. Won't you, Tanaka? Oh well, things are really... Let me help you. I don't know how you're here, but you're not beyond saving. <sighs> you want help? All right, I get that, so let me help you. Shut up. Shut up. You don't care about me? No one cares about me. My whole life, people have told me they want to help me, but they want to love me. It's all been a lie. It's not a lie. You're sick, and if you let me help you... No, be quiet. Not like I said that before, didn't he? Back then, he said it wasn't real, and he could make it better. It was wrong. I'm not sick. Look around you, Ayami-chan. Look at me. You see me, don't you? Time is very much ticking away. We're almost out of it. Do you still think I'm sick? Ah, oh, God. Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? I told you why. You really are stupid, aren't you, Ayami-chan? Every day's the same. The same. The same. And now I've got Tanaka here with me. It's like a new adventure. Time is ticking away very much. The dark will behave with him and the mask in it. Then we can start looking for the door. When we find it, everyone will. Oh, but stupid selfish Ayami-chan. You want to know why I brought you here, huh? You're just here to wake it up. You think you're the hero? I'm going to save the day. Wrong. I'll prove it. Stand right there. I'll show you right what Tanaka thinks of you. Oh, that's bad. Kazuki, ne Kazuki never called for help. Never protested. It was like he knew what was going to happen from the beginning. Uh-oh. I think we're out of time. Casually, like she'd done it hundreds of times before, she slid the knife across his throat. Whoop. Six months earlier. Cat. Talk. Good morning, Lady Fluffington. How are you today? Yeah. Oh, glad you're so happy. I guess Kazuki already left, huh? Yeah. You didn't drive him out, did you? No bitey scratchy? Yeah. Well, that settles that, I guess. You've been good with him lately, haven't you? Yeah. If only Yukimura shared your enthusiasm. Something tells me he'll get over it, though. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have to play right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right of right. Where'd you hide your toy this time? Oh. We are stressed. 
We have lost a fair bit. Specialism eh, covered a little bit, but uh, I love Lady Fluffington. Your laptop. Oh, hello. That's a lot here. An elderly man was attacked and seriously injured while emerging from a shrine in Kanda, Tokyo Prefecture late last night. Man, Takata Isao, 74, sustained injuries to his head and abdomen, several lacerations to his midget nearby hospital. Oh, well, hmm. What's this? Kosuke must have been look looking at it before he left. A shrine. Red paint. I want the patterns of the case he's been working on the last few months. Yukimura's been giving him hell. Saying such minor cases, wasting precious place resources, but bullheaded as a always, he won't give it up. Can't say I get it either, honestly. Chasing after some weird kids and vandals, this isn't his style. It's weird, he's been kind of obsessive about this case. When I ask him for details, he shrugs me off. Maybe I'll ask him about it when he comes back. Where is he, anyways? It's a bit exhausting being with someone who's on their own schedule all the time. At least he brought coffee before he left. Otherwise he'd be in a world of hurt. Hmm. Look, resident Suzuki Kwan. Kwan. Kawana points to a swath of random red paint marks on the Shrine Gate and cites a popular theory in the area that there is a youth rebellion against Japanese traditional values. Attack may have been potentially linked to a series of crimes surrounding shrines and temples in the area. This is the first time any violent action has occurred. The incident occurring two months ago resulted in the main hall of a local shrine suffering fire damage, but no injuries. Several weeks later, several dead cats in front of a shrine's gate. Lack of a specific pattern, other than, uh... Hmm. The assailant may have been a high school age girl. There's our, uh... Culprit there. Oh, another bedroom. Here, cat toy. Maniki Nico is Lady Fluffington's favorite toy to suffer from months of her batting it around. If I see any, any while I'm out, I should pick one new one up. Who knows, they might even bring us good luck. I vaguely remember... If we find any Maniki Nikos, it's... Like a trigger for, uh... Secret ending. Or something. Play with Maniki Nico. Life me, I can't figure out why you love this thing so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For whatever the reason, I'm glad it makes you so happy, little one. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Munch. Answer the door. Hello, neighbor. Yumi. Oh, hey, Yumi. Do you uh, want to come in? Nope. I'm on my way out, but I want to drop this, drop this off first. Certainly has a distinct uh, odor. Mrs. Donut. Ancient family recipe. Creamy curry donuts. Oh. Coconut, honey, curry powder, but the secret is the five hot chilies that are hidden in the batter. It really is. Little kitty top. They have quite the kick. These bad boys will clean your soul with fire inside and out. Uh, is that a good thing? <laughs> Wait, how are the chilies hidden in the batter? Yumi, I'm not so sure. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no need to thank me. Your body will thank me after you eat them. <laughs> after, after you've eaten them and survived them, I suppose. But anyways, how have you been? I see lately is convenience store boxed lunches and junk food. You need to take care of yourself. I'd be happy to cook for you two if you want. You walk them around any time. How about tonight? be after done working sometime. Uh, tonight may be a bit tricky, and our shifts can run a little late. I could see curry donuts actually being good. 
It's really bizarre, but one of the one of those tastes that see like salty and sweet, uh, spicy and sweet, uh, strange combinations that that might might work if you get them done right. Things you wouldn't expect. One of those odd things that you if you ever get a chance to if you ever encounter something like that, it's worth trying once just to see. Just to try it, you know? It's cool stuff like that. Worth trying, at least. That's my view. Unless you're happy with us dropping in around 2 a.m. Mm, good point there, neighbor. It's bad enough with you clomping around at night. I am right beneath you, you know. Uh, sorry, Yumi. You could blame the clomping on Kasuki. I'm light as a feather. Don't be sorry. It's the price of living below someone so interesting. Then again, there was that one time you started singing at 4 a.m. You were shouting something about the night not being able to end until you sang some idol song. What was it again? Oh. <laughs> That's okay. You can forget about that if you like. To be honest, I liked it. It was reassuring to hear you loosen up. Plus, I like to think it gives me a window in Detective Ito's real side. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. I could, you could definitely go into it thinking that you might you might not like it, but you never know until you try. Hey, at least if you tried, that now you know. And hey, you get points for trying something new. My real side, huh? Well, I do like karaoke. We should go sometime. I can sing in English, too. I'm a pro. My girlfriends thought I was half. I'm quite talented, you see. Damn, that's my work phone. Oh, okay, I should get going anyway. But Ayami... Hmm? Don't forget my offer, okay? Come over sometime. I will. Sorry, Yumi, I've got to take this. Hi. Ito here. Kasuki, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Thanks for picking up. I didn't know who else to call. I was wondering where you'd wandered off to. Why are you calling me on this phone? You're not on the clock, are you? Sorry, I couldn't leave this one alone. I think I've made a big break. In what? Mystery of the Broken Coffee Maker? <laughs> nope. Fortunately, that case would likely remain unsolved. The shrine case I've been working on, I think I found a pattern. All the shrines are attached to people whose names are, are said Kawana. So many ways to write Kawana in Chinese characters that we didn't see the connection. Oh. It's like a suspect has been going up and down Tokyo, going to shrines one by one, looking for someone. I would explain how the pattern seems so random. It doesn't explain the weird markings on the ran or the random violence, though. No, but it's a start. I had a bit of a snoop through the records, and I think she'll be in Kamakura next. Headed there now. I can be there in a little over an hour. What do you need me to do? Thanks, Yami. I knew I could count on you. I don't trust anyone else. Just about to arrive, so I'll get started on the legwork. Interviewing people in the area and seeing what they know. You know, once you get here, I'll need more official stuff. Surveillance footage, public records, and the like. Much to go on, but together we should find something. <sighs> Check the boring stuff. Serves me right for showing up late, huh? Ah, I'll get you a drink after. Promise. Yami, keep an eye out for red paint. Been in all the other crime scenes. But I'll see you soon. Be careful. If I'm right, this person might be dangerous. In retrospect, the way Kazuki sounded on the phone that day was off. Under his normal enthusiasm was a hesitation. A little shake in his voice that told me something was wrong. At the time, I chalked it up to overwork. After all, he hadn't been sleeping much in the weeks prior. If only I'd known and hadn't put up a wall of normality to hide away from it. Instead of explaining away his obsession with the case, ignoring him as he tossed and turned, I should have talked to him. In all fairness, I wasn't the only one trying to ignore reality. Because he was a fierce investigator. Once he grabbed hold of something, he followed it no matter how dangerous it was. Why, hello there, Mask. 
He kept me in the dark as long as he could, but at the end he needed me. So when he called me, he tried his best to laugh and joke to throw me off the scent. Hope you're having a good Halloween Eve. It worked. It worked because I let it. We're currently in flashback mode. Oh, there's a lot to see here. Oh, hello. Hi, friend. Welcome to Kamakura. Konnichiwa. I was actually looking for some information. That was a sad conversation. Clearly, there's something about this case that's been really haunting him. Up to this point. And just... Sort of thing that we just tried... They just tried to go about it. Feel like everything was alright. Information? Well, you've come to the right guy. Name's Majora. Did you know that I'm no mere station attendant, but a volunteer tour guide on my days off as well? A jack, all, jack of all trades. I can see from your blank expression that you don't believe me. But I'm the best there ever was. Not even from around here, and I could still tell you everything there is to know about this place. Guidebooks? Maps? The internet? Ha! All silly toys for amateurs. I've got it all up here. Uh, right. That's, um, great. Majora? Is that Japanese? Um, anyway, what kind of security do you have at this station? Are there many cameras set up here, or around town? Eh? Yeah, cameras, you say? Guess I should explain. I'm a detective with the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. Ah, uh, see, I'm really less of a current events kind of guy, more of a people in dates sort. Some call me a master of time and identity. That glasses glint. <laughs> but I'd harnessed my incredible knowledge and ability to examine minutia of events, I could have become a great detective myself. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Well, okay, maybe this one's a bit more up your alley. You tell me about the shrines around here. Maybe someone's off the beaten path. Oh, I know. Just down this street, there's an old shrine, and... And... Yes? The shrine is, um... Oh, then... Uh... Nice. Go on... Okay, 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 so dates aren't really my thing. But it wasn't fair. You caught me unaware with that one. I really am quite... I really am quite knowledgeable. Right, yep, I believe you. Uh, so, where's the shrine? Easy. Just up the road to the right. What's down to the, to the left? He point. Sorry, directions aren't really my thing. <clears throat> uh, oh, I see. Well, what do you know, then? Oh, um, well, the locals say it has a weird aura to it. See? But you didn't know that. Yeah, I'll uh, have a look around for myself. Thanks. Oh, that's just a security gate thing. Goodbye. I love the cherry blossoms this time of year. Kazuki and I will have to arrange a picnic before they're gone. He's, he's trying his best to let him... Let Majra be proud of uh, his knowledge. Yeah. Red paint. I guess Kazuki's hunch was right, but why this house? Leave it for now. Forensics might be able to make maybe able to make something out of this. Caw. <laughs> Right between the sacred and us mortals. The shrine it belongs to must be up ahead. That's curious. Now let us begin. Oh, this is... 
Oh, no. I can see something floating in the river that has more red markings on it. I need, I need to carefully fish it out so I don't disturb it. Interesting. Go about that. Ooh. This looks just long enough to fish out that object in, object in the water. Teen? Cherry Blossom Branch. Sorry, friends. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He's, uh, he set himself up for that one. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure that did. With some difficulty, I could just barely use the branch to get the object out of the water without disturbing it. A certain value to knowing what you don't know. Backtracker? Cheap and unlocked. Trade pass. Just like I thought, it had some red paint on it. I should go to the station and see who this belongs to. Can we go to the station? Hello, Mashra. Hi. What can the great Mashra help you with? I found this commuter pass by the stream. Could you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, sure, just... Uh, it's, is that blood? Oh, the red markings? No, it's paint, I think. Uh, you think? Blood isn't really my thing. It's definitely not blood. Smell it. Smell? No, 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 no need. I believe you. Right, it's not blood. Yes, in that here. Right. Okay, a little bit got on me. But it's fine, no problem. It's just paint. Not blood. Nope, not blood. Deep breath, Machida. Alright, sorry about that temporary loss of composure. Allow me to effortlessly find the owner of this pass. Damn thing. Just swipe it again. Here. Aha, let's see. Hmm, as fortune would have it, I know the owner of this card. It belongs to Mai, the youngest daughter of the Kiwana family. Very interesting family, indeed. Uh, oh, what makes them so interesting? Well, they own a lot of land in the area. They'll need a considerable amount to the local shrine as well. I often see Mai working there. The house next to the station with the laundry hung up outside actually belongs to her grandmother. Except for Mai, they're all, they're all a pretty cloistered lot. She's usually a very careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to see me about it. I know all about those passes, after all. I am the expert on train passes. I'd actually be the expert on that. Mine's a good kid. You don't think she's gotten involved with the nefarious types, do you? Not that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's nothing, but I wouldn't mind talking to her regardless. Well, if she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you'd like to know? That's all for now. Thanks. Goodbye, Bajra. Now we're back to a uh, more ominous feeling. In. A dark room covered in dust. Hard to believe someone actually lives there. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Doesn't seem to be anyone at home. Interesting. We knock again. There's still no answer. I head towards the shrine. Uh oh. That was a bad decision. What was that? It sounded like it came from behind me. Uh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. What could go wrong? Excuse the intrusion. I'm with the police. Is anyone here? Uh, 
Uh, I guess we'll just bolts right in some more. What could go? Who are you? How did you get into my house? Uh oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. My name is Ito, and I'm with the police. The door is unlocked. Hmm. You think because you're in the police, you could just walk through my house with impunity? I thought I'd lock the door. What did you say your name was? Not that it matters. Whoever you are, you shouldn't be here. You saw yourself in. You can see yourself out. The door, I know I locked it. Were you followed? Uh, followed? No, I'm looking for your granddaughter, Mai. I wanted to ask you about the red markings outside. Mai, what are you doing with her? She's a good girl. You leave her alone. The last thing I need is some police sniffing around my house. When I came here, I wanted to be alone so that my family and I could live in peace. All you're doing is drawing unwanted attention. Besides, I don't care about those superstitious markings. So you know what those marks are? There were once some, there were once some who made marks in red so that they wouldn't get lost. A guide to those who passed into the spiritual plane. More likely, it's a vandal. Shh, can you hear that? Why, after all this time? Amiko, Amiko, is that you? No, she's gone. What is you? Why does it call to you so? Perhaps you could be the one to free me from this torment. Yeah, I don't like the sound of this. Perhaps these old bones have suffered long enough. If it wants to leave, then, then I'll give it to you. Eh? Whoa, slow down. Give me what? What are you talking about? You'll help me, won't you? Take it from me. What's to go with you? That's concerning. Oh, minus five. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm sorry, child. Sorry? What is this? I feel strange. Years we spent trying to answer that very question. Fruitless years. I don't know. I have to get out of here. I'm sorry. Yes, take it away from this place. As soon as I touched it, it was as if the lens through which I viewed the world was jarred out of focus. Vision swirled and shifted. My legs became limp. A vile smell assaulted my nostrils. I pushed my way back into the entrance. I needed to get out of that house. Goodbye. Wow, that took a real big hit. We are quite stressed. Understandably. Wave of sickness that overcame me began to fade as I emerged from the old, musty Kiwana house. And then my mind began to write off what I'd experienced as a fluke. The feelings brought on by a lack of sleep in a strange car. A strange case. For a few lungfuls of the spring air, my headaches subsided and the nausea lessened. With every step I took out the door, the strong emotion I felt holding the mask got farther away as well. It was the old Kawada woman who made my mind go to such a strange place. What other, what other explanations could there be? As I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted in goosebumps. Something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. My knuckles had grown white from gripping it so tightly. Why? Why had I held on to it? Before I could think of an answer, a squeak from the direction of the shrine broke through my muddled thoughts. Hmm, that's... This is going well. Wandered into a strange house, picked up a cursed mask. Could go wrong. Should probably get to that. Go to shrine. There's that picture we saw. Oh no. A 
day at the shrine, I saw Reina for the first time. The girl who Kazuki had been chasing and who would be his killer six months later. Her eyes kept darting around, making her mental state impossible to read. Until that day, I'd never seen her, but she felt familiar. As I moved toward her, I began to feel uneasy. At night point was my Kiwana. I must have been dragged there shortly after I arrived. Even in the warm spring air, I remember a shiver going down my spine. This is bad. Shaka, what exactly is going on here? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything's under control, Ito. See? Tanaka agrees. Stay behind me. Who is she? Go away. If she doesn't, I'll do it. I swear. Please don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Please. I know this is my partner, Detective Ito. I told you she'd be coming, remember? See? She's staying right there behind me, just like I said she would. No one's trying to trick you. What took you so long, Ito? Anyway, I tread lightly and follow my lead. Oh shit. Introduce yourself, draw gun. Hey, your name's Reina, right? Yeah. Hi, Reina. My name is Ayami. I'm a friend. Please, help me. You're not my friend. You don't know anything about me. I don't trust her. Keep her back. We won't take one more step. I promise. You know, my partner's a lot smarter than me. Maybe you should, maybe you should tell her what she told me. But the voices in what you call it. Oh, right, the dark. No, I don't want to talk about them. You said you could make them stop. Can you really? Like I said, I've met other people like you. They're very sick, but when they came with me, I got them help, and they got better. I'm sick. It's not real. That's right. But I know it doesn't seem that way. It's not your fault. It's not. No, of course not. If I was in your position, I'd be scared, too. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. That's right. No, you're wrong. You can't see it is all. It's down there. Eating everything up. Eating me up. I don't see anything, Reyna. It's a beautiful spring day, nothing more. There's nothing out to get you here. It's below us. All the time. It whispers. It shows me things. Things it wants me to do. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Thing below us. I know it's confusing, but you've been sick a long time, and it won't get better unless you will, unless you let us help you. No, you're lying. You want to hurt me, like everyone else. I'll do it alone. You've always been alone. You need the mask. That's the only way to fix this. So stay away. Hmm. Reina, there's no mask here. Um, actually, Ka Tanaka. Hi. Is that right, Mai? Yes, of course. I don't know anything about a special mask at this shrine. Reina, Mai wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hurt her if she doesn't know anything, right? Quiet, both of you. Working together. Aha! Uh -huh. that's, that's it, right? I know it's here. Where's the mask? Where is the mask? Please stop. I don't know anything about it. I don't. I swear. Please let me go. Hey, hey, we talked about this earlier, right? Violence only makes everyone nervous, and people do silly things when they're nervous. I don't know about you two, but it's hard to focus clearly on an empty stomach, and I'm starving. Are you too hungry? Not my favorite food is pizza. Hey, my, what's your favorite type of pizza? Pizza? You want to know about... Um, I, I don't know. I I like margarita? You're a little boring, but a classic. But you, Reyna, what's your favorite pizza? I can get one brought in for all of us. Much more pleasant way to talk than, lot, than at opposite ends of a shrine, if you ask me. <laughs> pizza? But what about the... I promise we'll talk about all that stuff later. But first, pizza. I liked pizza too. Before. Yeah. Not now. No time for pizza now. Before? Before what, Reyna? Maybe you can tell me about it. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about that. Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick. Ever since that day. What day? No, no, no. Stop thinking about it. Mom. Everyone. I know it all seems impossible and that you have so many things to overcome before you get better. Sickness of the mind can affect the body, too. I bet once the doctors have a look at you, they can help with that, too. Hey, Ito, you join us, right? What's your favorite pizza? Dive. Uh, Margarita, of course. Yeah. You, too? These to be all the rage. See? No one's out to get you. You don't rather go about this peacefully. 
stop. I don't want to hear any more about that. Don't you get it? I won't stop until I get it. What do you mean? Put that knife down, Reyna. And we can help you find whatever it is you're looking for. No, I know what I'm doing. This bitch knows. You're hiding it from me. But I know that this is the right one. I can feel it here. If she doesn't give it to me, I'm going to make little Mai bleed. Reyna, listen to me. I'm pretty sure if Mai knew anything about this mask, she'd tell you. Mai? Mai? No, her. The one next to you. You said she was a friend. Why would you lie? I can hear them. I can see them all around her. Shadows. Voices. Oh, hi, I just picked up a cursed object. You know, me and Ito? She doesn't, she doesn't know anything about this, right now. Uh, actually, Kazuki... Uh, about that... Uh, you're a little scared of her, and that fear is playing into your sickness. You have to trust that what you see isn't there. No, stop lying. You don't get it. It's real. She's seen it. But why? Why is it awake? Why, 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 why? What? What is that? Can you hear it? It sounds like it does down there. No, 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 no. Get back. Can't you hear it? Oh, God, make it stop. You said you could help me, so make it stop. Please make it stop. Please. Uh. Uh, okay. I got the mask. Minus five. Well, that nullifies our game. Taka, I don't think she's lying. I've seen it. I think I've seen it. Ito, what the hell are you talking about? The mask. In the house back there, Mai's grandmother showed me a mask. I knew it. You lied to me. You lied. Give it to me. Ito, why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry, Tanaka. How was I supposed to know it had anything to do with this? Does this mean I'm not sick? That you won't help me? No. No. No, you lied to me. You said it wasn't real, but she's seen it. I can hear it. It's awake. It's awake. <clears throat> Stay back. Give me for that mask. I'll hurt her. I said I would if you lied. Oh, shit. No one lied. This mask Ito has. There must be dozens just like it. No one else can hear anything. So let's all calm down and start over. Yeah, I think I kind of... I think I kind of mucked up the Kazuki's plan here. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to. Oh, Kazuki, I don't feel well. Miami, what's wrong? Why can't you hear it? It's screaming. Make it stop. Make it stop. Kazuki, I... I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Before that day, the possibility of ever using my gun on another human being never occurred to me. My mind, doing so was a failure as a, as a detective. A sign that you hadn't thought the situation through. That all other options had failed. The Ayami I knew would never point her gun at a girl. But suddenly as I stood there under the, cher under the cherry blossoms, that Ayami was replaced by someone else. It was a passenger in my own body, looking in horror. It's a girl, identical to me, I began to squeeze the trigger. My thoughts were lost in the din of a thousand terrified voices. I wish I could say I had lost consciousness or didn't remember what I did. But that isn't true. I remember every moment, every second, and every face that looked at me in horror what I did. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Don't like this. 18, 6, 20, 11, 3, 3. No choice in the matter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ito, what are you doing? Ito, put your weapon down. Don't do this. Kazuki's shouts never reached my ears. Yeah, that's fair. It's... It seems like something natural to contribute to the conversation. That... I've seen... I've seen this thing? Maybe she's a... Maybe she's got something here? Uh, bro? Uh, the world that I'd been in moments before no longer existed. There was darkness. And it was only me, the girl, and a voice which told me to do one thing. So I did. As my finger pulled the trigger, Reyna looked at me and smiled. I wondered why she smiled then, knowing at that moment what was about to happen to her. It was as if she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked me right in the eye as the bullet ripped through her skull. Damn. The smile never left her face, even then after she died. 
This is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Ayami, can you hear me? Nurse? Nurse? She's awake. Listen to me, Ayami. You're going to be fine. You collapsed after... after the gun shot. Huh? Gun? What are you talking about? Oh no. That girl, what did I do? Hey, don't move. You need to rest. What did I do? Ayami, calm down. Nurse? Detective Tanaka, if you could just hold her still for a moment. Everything's going to be fine. The nurse is going to give you something to help you sleep. Manaki Neko's there. Tanaka, where am I? I don't remember coming here. It's alright, Ayami. We're in the hospital. I'm here for you. I know how you always liked getting ahead of me, but please listen to me until the end, okay? A few days ago, there was a hostage situation in Kamakura. It ended badly. You... you shot that girl. Then, well, um, the doctors are saying you had some kind of mental breakdown. Everything is fine. Ah, you're awake. Good. How are you feeling today, Miss Ito? You seem much calmer now. Yeah. I guess I was a bit confused after blacking out. Oh, yes, according to the studies we've read, that's quite common for people who have experienced this kind of trauma you did. Tell me, do you feel the following symptoms? Please answer with yes or no only. There's a breath. Uh... No. No, I'm breathing fine. Nausea? Oh, wow. Yes. I feel dizzy. What happened to me? Blurred vision? No. No, I can see fine. Fatigue? Where's Tanaka? Yes. I think maybe I should lie down. We've given you a mild antipsychotic in light of your recent episode. It's our duty to make sure you are mentally and physically fit for duty, you understand? Yes. Good. Let me explain your medicine to you. We have conducted a series of tests since the incident in Kamakura. We found no evidence or history of neurological damage, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder. Running up the episode is a stress-induced breakdown. For your safety and the safety of others, however, we strongly recommend you take these pills daily for a period of several months. Take a look at your chart, Miss Ito. To help keep track of the well-being of the workers in the public se workers of the workers in the public sector, we developed the spin system to monitor various aspects of your well-being. As you can see, our sanity is not doing well. SPIN stands for Sanity, Professionalism, Investigation, and Neurosis. We'll be monitoring your SPIN attributes closely in subsequent checkups, and I'd suggest you do the same. At of recent events, let's first consider your sanity, your ability to accurately perceive the world around you. Without taking your daily medication, and given your condition, incidents like you recently experienced are more likely to occur again. For now, I strongly suggest you take your medication. When your first dose is due today, please take it now. Here. Ooh. Okay. Unfortunately, as you might have noticed, there are some side effects. We have enough investigation to, uh... Well, we can't access the menu here. Take the hit. So taking antipsychotic medications will decrease the chance for any future psychotic episodes. It may make you a bit drowsy and unfocused. Ah. Hence the, uh... Yeah. As a detective, this, of course, may lower your investigative abilities and your aptitude for seeing the details of a case. Fortunately, we picked up a lot of investigation in the opening segments, uh... We can tank that hit. Although your partner mentioned you may have experienced hallucinations at the time of your breakdown. Taking your medication is imperative to keeping your mind clear of those visions. you are still shaken and stressed, though. I should warn you, however... If for whatever reason you are unable to take your medication, and your sanity, as measured by spin, it's very low, you may suffer from a total psychotic breakdown. Quiet, eh? As I'm sure I needn't tell you, for someone in your position, that would cause both the department and your family a considerable amount of embarrassment. 
Please remember to take your medication, Miss Ito. In order to avoid misdoses and form a routine, I recommend you keep your pills in a familiar place like your apartment. You can take them every time you come home. You should also be careful with neurotic actions, endlessly talking to people, pacing back and forth, traveling around meanlessly and the like. Oh, wow. So literally that case where, like, we knocked and knocked again. That gave us one neurosis. Studies show that neuroses can act as a multiplier that exponentially speeds up a patient's loss of sanity, which, given your current condition, could be dangerous. That's interesting. I found that patients become less neurotic by taking time out to care for themselves. Dr. Tanaka tells me you have a pet. Perhaps spending time with the animal, relaxing, getting a good night's sleep would help the levels of neurosis we see in your chart. These stress-relieving actions have no negative side effects in relation to your medication or condition. Leave to your super superiors to discuss professionalism with you. It has a measurable effect on the spin chart. Do you understand the importance of spin? I'm going to explain it to you again. I'm good. Kazuki, thank goodness you came. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Invest high investigation unlocks more uh, details in the environment you can actually notice. Makes sense. We get out of here. They've got me taking enough sedatives to knock out a damn elephant. They tell you when they'll let me out? I missed you. Besides, I'm going nuts lying around here all day. Eh, funny you should say that, Ayami. I think I think going oh, the crazy thing is what they're worried about, too. That's not funny. Sorry, sorry, but in life you can either laugh or you can cry, and if you ask me, it's better to laugh. It shouldn't be much longer now. Dr. Sissi wants to observe you a little longer, is all. How are you feeling? Better, but I... I don't remember what happened very well. The whole thing is kind of hazy. I remember that I was feeling strange, like there was someone else... someone else there with me. And that mask, it... We'll stop you there, Ayami. Heard enough about that thing. It's all over the report, and Yukibura gave me a hell of a lecture about even leaving mention of it in there. Where's it now? That's not important. You made a mistake. No, that's not fair. Given the situation, I don't blame you. Even on the report, you can barely even call it a mistake. A highly unstable suspect had a knife to a girl's throat, and you took the shot. No matter what other people say, I'm standing by you both now and at the hearing. I don't know what you saw, but I know you had a reason for what you did. I feel that HQ already starting to take your side. But please, no more talk about that mask. It only hurts your case and keep you in this hospital longer. Trust me, nobody wants that. Least of all me. I can see that, impressionism affecting how people actually interact with you and the like. I would very much see that. I'd mention Yukimura's had a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you, or like professionalism affecting dialogue options. I'd a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you, so help him out a bit, will you? Whatever you think you saw that day wasn't supernatural. Besides, thinking about it isn't going to help you get better, so no more about it, okay? You're right. It was a confusing situation, and I guess my mind is grasping at straws trying to come to terms with it. You know, Kazuki, I think I need a break from all this. Being a cop. I didn't set up to hurt. To kill people. I know. We'll talk about it later. But now you should get some rest. Nothing to worry about. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Oh, we're back. Present day. In the deepest, darkest parts of the sewer. The, the mask. See, where do we stand?
Dog. Hey, little one. Why don't you sleep in there? Not a care in the world. At least you're alright. What would I do if both you and Kazuki... No, I can't think like that. There's more to all of this and too many unanswered questions. Get to the bottom of it. I have to salvage a normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. This is probably not going to help. And crime section. Please neglect. Other in instances of police neglect or questionable investigative practices have been made public. Oh no. Uh, detective arrived first at the scene. Ayami Ito has declined to make any comment to the press, but his super superiors say after following a lead, she was led into the sewers where she made contact with a lone female suspect. It ended violently before she could be apprehended. Yes. She does look so sad. Article from two weeks ago. Everything is in, and it is laid out so neat and factual and makes it seem so simple. The, yeah, the police are quite known to support their fellows. Circle the wagon, so so to speak. Yeah. Even though in this case, it rightfully so, but... Uh... Article from two weeks ago. Everything in it is laid out so neat and factual, it makes it seem so simple. It's like that all happens to someone else. The Ito on the page is a different person from some other world. Yet it's not. That's what happened to me. That's what they say. The article barely mentions the girl, the bloody bag with the red paint. Why do they write that like it's true? The press will try to simplify any story they sell to the paper, to sell papers, like Kazuki always said. But things about that night don't add up either. After backup finally did arrive, they couldn't find any trace of the girl. The fingerprints on the red paint were inconclusive, and the knife at the scene was clean, too. So they told me, but there's no way that can be true. What really happened down there? out of here. I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of that night always come flooding back whenever I do. And as I think I can hear his voice just beyond that door, that when I open it, I'll see him there, finding these, finding these last few weeks to just be a bad dream. It's no dream. It's gone. Now what hurts me more? The fact that he's gone or the way it happened. Taken by a girl who shouldn't exist. Reina. That was her name. But a few days after, th after the sewer, but kept it to myself. At the debrief, they had me talk to a station psychiatrist. One look from her was enough to figure out what everyone else must be thinking. Police reports. The press. No one's mentioning the girl. I saw what I saw. If she came back, then maybe. I could only get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate the scene myself. I'm sure I could find something to prove she was there. Can't let me anywhere near it, though. At least for now. One way or another, I'll find the truth. I like this. Here, here, uh oh. Actually, I need to get back to something a second. I will be right back.
Okay, can you hear me? We're about ready to uh, get back to things. We're really we're ready to get the game started proper. Because by the sound of it, uh, hey, oh, Dark, welcome. Eh. Messing around with this earlier and uh, toggling between full screen and windowed doesn't seem to really affect much. It does kind of put the uh, little bar around things, but uh, yeah, you, it's a good time to show up, Doc. You made it. You're just in time. Really, realistically, we just made it through the introduction. The establishing incident, incidents plural, two hostage situations gone very wrong, report Detective Vito. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. Who lived in a sewer under the streets of Tokyo? <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. Anyways, should you take our medicine? Pills the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kanzuki left them. Count on him to pester me about my health even when he's gone. I hate these pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. All oh, right, the doorbell was ringing. Uh, hey, I brought you some dinner. Hi, Yumi. Thanks, Yumi. You didn't have to do that. You need to eat something, neighbor. Can't just sit around all day, right? I know that it's just. It's alright, you don't have to thank me. I just. I. Uh, I'm no good with this stuff. Ariami, I'm. I'm really sorry. About Kazuki, I mean. You're a good neighbor, Yumi. <laughs> You're a really good neighbor. I know that he meant a lot to you, and I didn't know him very well, but. Stop, just stop. You, you don't. I'm sorry, Yumi. I, I didn't mean it. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Sorry I stamped at you. Because it's all been a bit much. Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. That was a big one, huh? Earthquake. I, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I know we're not best friends or anything. I was just worried, it's all. Yumi is precious. Bless your heart, Yumi. Sorry, Yumi, that's my phone. Work again. Heh. <laughs> It's like they know when we're talking. Yeah. Maybe I, I have to take this. And Yumi, thanks for the food. Anytime. Hi. Ito here. Ito, I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. I, uh, I need you to come into the station uh, as soon as you can. <laughs> What's this about? It'd be easier if we talked in person. See you soon. Alright. Oh, hello there. Worked with Saki Ishiban Ishibashi for years now, and she hasn't changed a bit. Her hard work and pleasant smile are only matched by her love of gossip. Hi, Saki. Oh, uh, hey, Ito. Didn't think we'd see you back so soon. Konnichiwa. Well, ready or not, I'm here. I, um, ab about what happened. It's all right, Saki. You don't need to say anything. It's just so awful, and I know you two were close. I mean, I heard... Yeah, we were, but seriously, you can leave it alone. I'm fine. If you say so. But you're being so positive. And what people say, I know you cared about him and did everything you could to save him. Uh, what are people saying? Thanks, Saki. Oh, wait. What exactly are people saying? Like, it's only fair to give you a heads up since we're friends. I have uh, been some rumors about what happened to Tanaka. Rumors? <laughs> what kind of rumors? Well, that's... Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't want to upset you. Out with it, Saki. We both know you can't keep something like that to yourself for long. So you might as well tell us now. Fine, but you didn't hear from me, okay? I kind of all the bad press surrounding Tanaka, the higher-ups are looking for someone to pin this all on. Someone close to the case, if you know what I mean. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think I understand it just fine. Officer Bando told me earlier that Tyra was ghosting about some promotion. I saw some movers going into your office on the CCTV earlier. I just... Doesn't look, doesn't look good, is all. Uh-oh. 
Tyra. That guy needs a swift punch in the back of his head sooner than he needs a promotion. Who is in my office? <sighs> Too much. See? I told you you'd be upset. It's not all definite. Oh. I know for sure is what I've seen in the monitors and what Bando's told me. Hold on a sec. Who's Officer Bando? Not some alleys you've come up with, is it? I tried that with you one time and you figured it out right away. Bando transferred in from Osaka a few weeks ago and he's a total sweetheart. Sometimes he comes and talks to me at the front desk when I'm free. When he's free. Huh. Did he say anything else about Tyra's mysterious promotion? Not that I remember. I know is he's, is he's been on the fourth floor doing some legwork with the detectives lately and overheard it. I run by my office. Maybe I'll see this Officer Bando and ask him myself. Hey, that reminds me. If you see him, could you give him this? Uh, sh that's a really cute envelope. Sure. <sighs> it's like I've died and gone back to high school. Yeah, sure, give it. I'll give it to him, but you owe me one. You owe me one. Thanks, Ami. You're the best. Uh, the professionalism. Guess you'd better head up to Yukimura's office soon, huh? Huh, <laughs> so you knew about that too, huh? Thanks for keeping me up to date, Saki. Alright, what's about Bando? So what's the story with you and the new guy? That is isn't exactly your usual subtle tactic, Saki. Hardy har har har, very funny. This one's different, he seems like a keeper. He's not half bad, looking to boot. I mean, I'm almost 25, I'm practically an old woman. If I don't find someone soon and settle down, I'll die alone. That is not true, but that's a societal thing. Froggy envelope stream, yes. <sighs> Even listening to you stresses me out, Saki. I'm sure your prospects are fine. Investigation plus one, let's look. CCTV cameras in the station can be viewed here. Saki stays up to date on all the office drama by having an unrestricted view of the whole building. Eh. No wonder indulging in her antics uh, lowers our professionalism. You see, you've slowed down in your viewing habits, Saki. Well, they do pay me to keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. It's not my fault if I haven't noticed some other stuff at the same time. Like that Detective Ikeda always fixes her hair before she sees Detective Suzuki. And Officer Sato takes off his wedding ring when he enters the building. Oh. And I have to be careful. Yukimura says if anything happens on my watch, that he'll make me pay for it. Oh. Okay. Resolve that relatively well. Really super strict. Yeah, just that. Elevator. Well. Reception level. Saki's probably sitting there now, watching all the CCTV footage. Okay, we have to go to... We have to go to 7. Investigative unit's offices. Tanaka and I have offices on this floor. Wait a little. Evidence storage and forensics is in the basement. Yuki Buddha's office. Right at the top. Well, let's go. Alarm. Can't set the alarm. Press button. Hi, boss. Sorry to have to call you in like this, Ito. I know we promised you some time off after the whole rotten situation. I meant to talk, I meant to, talk to you earlier, but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. I've been a media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters are waiting for any excuse they could to go, to go for our throats, and they found it. The deputy chief starts calling me, then the chief. Hell, I got a call for the mayor last night. All they want this case solved out of mind. Huh. If you were here to see it, Tanaka would be furious at all the bureaucracy. Can't even count the number of times he's yelled at me. After similar speeches I made to him. He's a good man. Romantic intrigue of the life in the Tokyo Metropolitan District. Oh, the things you notice. <laughs> yes, sir was when you have your finger on the office politics. Let's cut to the chase. Every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor's demanding a formal inquiry on your conduct. Before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done better in your shoes. The whole thing was wrong, if you ask me. 
Unfortunately, there are no do-overs in police work, and even choices that seemed right at the time can turn around and bite us later on. Not only you. I made a mistake that night sending you in alone. I'll pay for that, too. Keep an eye on your professionalism. Using the spin system from time to time. Don't give those vultures anything to pick at. Not just about the inquiry, though. I'm concerned about you. And the choices you make, professional or otherwise, have far-reaching effects in the future. Oh, this is our official professionalism briefing. People who will work with you and trust you, the, op the op options you'll have available to you, are all hinged on your ability to keep a professional face. One more thing. Given the circumstances, we think it best to transfer you out of the violent crime department for the time being. Okay, we're not being fired. That's probably... Transfer? But sir, I don't, I don't understand. I've already done twice the amount of work as some of the veterans, and I've only been in this unit for a few years. Surely my records should speak for itself. Let's at least talk about it first. This is a, this is a negotiation, Detective. Think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. Next month, you'll continue, you'll continue to be on leave. Fully paid, of course. Of course, I'll need to take your badge until you return. Gun, you can turn in downstairs. When you come back, you'll be helping out with some of the vice and insurance fraud cases. Since another detective will be moving into your place, we'll need to clear out your office. Ask the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make, do I make myself clear, Ito? Yes, sir, understood. Sir, I understand your decision. But surely this move should only be temporary. That's enough, Detective. Until the internal hearing about your case is complete, there'll be no further discussion of this. Now please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. The rest stays with us. Ito, take care of yourself. It is really understandable that the, uh... After the time we've had. Yeah, 10 professionalism points. Here's your ticket. 10 pro bucks. Guess we'll go down here. Drop in. Hello there. See here. Fine then. Don't want to talk to you. Hey Ito, what's up? Oh hi Tyra. Heard you're back at the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one great detective. Right. He was the best. It was hard to believe he let himself get caught the way he did. I mean it's weird, right? He goes missing and can't manage to contact anyone even once. I thought he would have tried to get in touch with you at least since you were his partner and all. Anyway, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ito. It was dumb to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it, there's no way you could have handled that on your own. Uh, bye. You would have done better? You're right, Tyra. Yukimoto should have sent you. The man who hasn't solved a single one of the murders on his desk this year. It would have turned out not much better. Hey, those were just unlucky cases, is all. No witnesses. If Yukimoto had sent me, I would have kept my cool, I can tell you that. Okay, Tyra. As I close my eyes and count to ten, I think that when I open them, Tyra will disappear. Unfortunately, that tactic hasn't worked yet. Once partnered with Detective Nita, I was surprised by how competent he was. If he didn't attach himself at the hip to Tyra, he could probably make a good detective. Look. Alarm for fires, earthquakes, and other emergencies. Hmm. Told me that is, that is the only female detective would be best to give me extra space. Which translated to sticking me at the end of the hall. Oof. The morning. Exhausted. First the bosses dumped me out of violent crime. Then send the movers ahead of me so everyone in the station knows about my demotion before me. What a mess. I said I wasn't going through enough already. With my public shaming, I doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. A chance to regroup and plan my next move. Let.
I've been in this office for years now, quietly working my way into the boys' club to be respected as a detective. Look at it now. That hard work shoved in some boxes to be handed off to whoever Brown knows the way into a promotion, no doubt. I cannot but feel like my hard work wasn't worth anything all, all these years if it can be so easily packed away and forgotten. Yeah, honestly. Although some people just have that way about them. Some people are just so full of themselves that they can't... They can't not be... Uh, they can't not be pompous assholes, even when they're trying to be nice. Intentionally or not. It just always comes through. Right. A new email in my, is in my inbox from Yukimura. Looks like it's gone out to all the detectives. Let's see, Detective Ito has been under a lot of pressure. The tragic loss of Tanaka has affected us all. I think I see where this is leading. There it is. Ito will be temporarily reassigned. So he did make it public. How humiliating. Poor Ito, indeed. It would nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he'd send. But all this time, why doesn't he believe me? That. Diploma? What is this? Kasuki gave me this silver hairpin for my birthday last year. It seems so long ago. Being here is not good for us. Kimura doesn't believe me. Having stock at the station, and now I'm being moved out of the office to top it off. Get much worse than this, but it's Yukimura that stings the most. Thought I could trust him, but instead he tells me to turn in my gun like I'm some sort of criminal. Sitting around here isn't going to change anything. If they won't investigate, I will. First things first, I need to get my hands back on that mask. And I mentioned it over and over, and it's the only clue that I have to go on. Maneki Neko? And there's forensics gave the mask once over and stuffed it down in the basement. I should go down and scope it out. Oh hey, Tyra's gone. Good. Fuck that dude. What a prick. Oh hi, you're here now. Look. Officer Bando, the recent transfer from Osaka. It seems that Saki on the front desk is quite smitten with this guy. Introduce yourself. Now, hi. You must be the new transfer from Osaka. Detective Ito. Yeah, it really does... It really does feel like... After all this time that Saki... That, uh... That Detective Ito put in. It, uh. The, bra the brass shoved, shoved her in a corner. Corner office. Which is probably a storage closet. She fought her way up in the pecking order. Earned what respect she had. And then in the end, it didn't amount to much because the top brass just found an excuse to shove her aside. All the goodwill she had built up wasn't really worth much. In the end, Top Brass just kind of shoved her right back down. If she were a guy, yeah, they would probably have been far more lenient, unfortunately. The music does suggest that this is a terrible idea. All right. That's right. Transferred me in last week. How you doing, Detective? Please, call me Bando. Y'all have got a big station here. Rarest to say, but we never could find our way around the Tokyo brand. It's all that well. I get myself lost half the time, to tell you the truth. You must be the one that's all over the news. Don't worry, I never could trust the press. Let them know a damn thing about police work, if you're asking me. And it sounds like you've caught a rough run. Sorry about your partner. <laughs> so far, a very accurate depiction of, uh police circling the wagons and protecting their own when misconduct happens, and uh, police attitudes towards the press. Very accurate depictions there. Thanks. Rough as an understatement. Uh, 
Well, let's give her the envelope. Could go wrong. Ishibashi at the front desk wanted me to give you this. Hmm? Saki did? Well, I it over then. Let's have a look. Oh, well, I... I didn't reckon she'd send something like this. Just because you don't know her like we do, Officer Banda. Yeah, well, uh... Do me a favor, would ya? I know, I know, not exactly professional, but tell him to meet me on the roof in about 20 minutes. I'll do it myself, but I'm too busy. He does seem all right. Uh. What do you think? I'll give this one to you. <laughs> are we going to participate in this uh, love and max matchmaking, or are? Uh... Place, place your votes now, viewers. <laughs> What's gonna be? Are we gonna participate in this little matchmaking ex escapade? Are we gonna make it have him ask her himself, or are we just going to uh, politely back out? Do we go dating sim route and lose more professionalism? What is it gonna be? One vote for dating sim. It'll very much cost us some professionalism. Part of me feels like Ask Her Yourself might be the best option. In theory. Because it's, uh... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm busy. Yeah, alright, we'll, we'll do that. I feel like, on one hand, ask yourself could be like a... You should ask yourself. Make the first move, buddy. Go do it. I believe in you. On the other hand, ask yourself could also be a... <laughs> ask yourself. Maybe, I'm busy. You should notice I'm a little busy, Bando. If you want to fool around with Ishibashi, sure that you can do it on your own time. Ah, jeez, I won't twist your arm or nothing, but I would sure appreciate it. That. Okay, maybe we, we get even maybe. All right, so that non-committal. I guess we're going down to the basement first and foremost. I guess we could still, in theory, uh, go tell Saki before we go down to the basement still possible. Yeah, no gain, no loss. You could still stop down on the first floor. That might give us the professional hit. Ah. All right, let's go down. Sorry, Saki, we have things to do. Descend. It's the funniest visual glitch. Security camera watches the entrance to the locker 24-7. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. How is this going to go? Hello. Think, didn't think you'd stick around after, down here after the big earthquake this morning, Mori. Oh, don't remind me. I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. How are you holding up, Detective? Taking it one day at a time, I guess. I think I'm surprised to find you still working evidence. Not gonna put it in, re put in recommendations for your promotion. Yeah, I think the people upstairs have got other things on their minds right now, from the sound of things. Besides, I think they stuck me down here because I was asking too many questions on my last case. They have pissed off a few of the wrong people. Ah. Paid leave or dismissal. That makes sense. It's an unfortunate structure, but... De 
difficult one to change. Yeah, a more typical game would be, uh, be definitely all for it. It does feel reasonable that we'd have uh, bigger things on her mind right now than uh, playing matchmaker for a friend. For a colleague. That makes me squirm thinking what it'd be like being in an earthquake, like being in an earthquake in this basement. Wish he hadn't reminded me. What I'm really sorry about did not get detected, Nito. I respected him a lot. Will truly be missed. Thanks. I miss him too. Oh. Oh, can we not ask him? The key to the evidence room is locked. Ori has the key, but in desperate times I've seen Tanaka pick the lock to get in. Uh. Oh, you know what? Well, that took away my... Hmm. I think I see what we need to do here. It's become a puzzle. Looks like we are going to do this. I passed on that letter you gave me. You did? Way to go, Ayabi. What'd he say? It's too much. Wait, you didn't read it, did you? Oh god, you read it. Please forget everything you saw. D slow down. I didn't read it. Just me to tell you to meet him on the roof as soon as possible. On the roof? That's romantic, right? It's like I'm in a TV drama. Dang it, if I leave my post and something happens to those cameras, Yuki Muto would go nuclear. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Got it. You're not, you're not on duty now, right? Watch the front desk for me. It won't be long. Ten minutes tops. Please, please, please. Uh, sure. That's my girl. I knew I could count on you to not to stand in the way of true love. I'll be right back. Saki gone. I could disable the recording system and move around at the station without being seen, but with not without getting in her in trouble with Yukimura. Ah. Oh, that's a matchmaker achievement. Yeah, it seems like Morty's actually a, a good cop, so to speak. So. It seems like our choices at hand here are... Uh, we're going to have to take a professionalism hit to get into the evidence locker. I have a feeling it's kind of going to come down to uh, yeah, going to come down to uh, you got to hit the fire alarm and get into the evidence locker. Do we turn the cameras off to save our own asses and doom Saki? Do we leave them on? It's a tough call. What, 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 what do we? What do you say? Do we screw over a friend, or do we uh, take the personal hit? I think this is going to end with us uh, hitting the fire alarm, anyways. What do, you, what do you say? Hit the... Camera's off, camera's on. Oh, true. Our demands that we don't. Solidarity. Leave the cameras on. I want to. I can't do something that would hurt Saki's career like that. I'll find another way. Plus five. Investigation minus five. 
That seems like a reasonable choice. That's w well said, Lilac. Honor demands that we don't. Leave them on. If you straight up refused to help Bando, you wouldn't have lost professionalism. Possibly. Then again, if we straight up refused to help Bando... On one hand, maybe he would have asked Saki and she would have left. On the other hand, maybe it would have locked us, locked us out of that potential option. I'm just curious. Never not be the funniest glitch. Oh, Bondo's gone. I suppose we're triggering the fire alarm, huh? Oh, I know, I know what we need to do. We're going to... Yep, we're going to take this uh, hair clip. And now we're going to leave. And now we're going to trigger the fire alarm. Stand right now. Oh! I didn't notice that pause effect. Alright, fire alarm time. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. Is it because I'm playing on full screen? Just my computer? Could be. It's silly as hell, and I love it. Alright, fire alarm. Ready? Actually, the building will start almost immediately after I pull the lever. Fortunately, there'll be a short window before they realize what's happening, so I'll need to get to the evidence room quickly. Right. Here goes nothing. Oops. Well, too late. It is possible we got... Alright, pick lock. There it is. I held the mask in my hands again. I immediately questioned why I'd gone through such great lengths to get it back. A small piece of evidence wasn't worth the risk. It wasn't the answer to my problems. As strange as it sounds, I'd hoped the mask would react in the same way it did when I touched it in Kamakura. So that would have justified what I'd done and proved the sensation I'd felt that day it wasn't in my head. The mask I held in the evidence locker was nothing more than rough, old wood. No voices or visions. Eerie quiet left in the wake of anticipation. Of course, I held on to it. The case was only getting started, and Reina's obsession with it would, couldn't be an accident. It still had a part to play. That is true. Everyone will know what we've done, but we also didn't screw over Saki. I can accept that. Oh! Mask in my hands, I quickly got out of the station and jumped on the first train back to, Shin back to Shinjuku. To the alley where the whole mess had started. They told me there was more to find in the sewer. Mask itself could wait until later. The train made its way there. Images and, images and thoughts from that night engulfed me. I started to feel queasy. My stop approached the pit in my gut and changed from fear to something else. I'd realized I had enough of other people telling me what to feel or how to act. I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that only that the only one who could give me any sense of closure was myself. Yeah, pretty much. We are quite screwed in this regard. But honor demands we did not screw over our friend. You again? Hey, take it easy. I saw what you did to go to at the bar the other night. I don't want any trouble. You relax, I'm off duty. Besides, you know as well as I do, that guy was a scumbag. Making what his pants was the only way to get anything useful out of him. Huh. 
can exactly argue with that, but scum or not, he's a big earner. He could have been more gentle. Mask does have a really weird hold on Ito. I think what sealed it was uh, pulling off the hood on Kazuki's head and seeing the mask on him. Just her experience, her experience with it six months ago, and then seeing it on uh, Kazuki's head. That right there. Not something she's forgetting anytime soon. The rest of the game is just handing out resumes to PDs in other cities. Yeah. So yeah, I think she's. I think she'd have uh, more immediate uh, concerns than that. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I'm sure I'll be back eventually, if I want him to be or not. Anyway, I uh, heard what happened on the news. What happened to you and your partner that night? What it's worth, I'm sorry. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Didn't figure you'd care much about what happened to a cop, all things considered. Turning what? My job? It's true, police come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and feel me up thinking I don't care. I'm distinctly sorry for that. Ma'am. The boss tells me to ignore it since, it's, since happy cops are good for business. That is... Awful, and I'm so sorry. Honestly, they're worse than the customer that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. If you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, so nobody hostess, do you think they'd give a shit? They probably wouldn't. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. So, I would care. Oh, oh, there it is. Just throw it in here. I would care. I wish you could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me that being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government official gave them a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long. Maybe about two years in four different shops. They all promise the same thing. Better pay and customers that will treat you with respect. Still waiting on both those things. Business has been in the pits lately, and I've got, gotten some offers that might pay better, but... But? But they're at clubs with more of an adult vibe. Said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I, I don't know. I've heard rumors about what can happen to some of the girls in those places. I don't like the sound of that at all. But you go like me don't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects, and it'd be good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But... Ever hear the phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Uh, no, not really. Take it from me. No one's going out of their way to help you, but that doesn't mean you can't help yourself. Just think it over before you say yes to that offer, okay? be getting advice from a cop. All right, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's Miho. Don't tell anyone, though. Bosses don't like it when customers know our real names. Between us girls, I wanted to slam Goto into, the wall, into a wall for months. Let's see you around, detective. Oh. That was oddly wholesome. That was really wholesome. I really hope you don't take that job, Miho, because you deserve better than what could possibly happen in a place like that. This is a distinctly different vibe than we had last time. Daizo? Oh, hello, Detective. I, uh, heard about what happened that night after the, the police and the reporter showed up. Sorry to hear about your partner. Can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks. Dies all right. Yep, that's me. Surprised you remembered that, Detective. 
If we're detective, I'm not on duty. By all means, fine. How are things? Did that night hurt your business, too? In all honesty, business wasn't really better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when the reporters were here. Eventually, they left, too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. What's the point? Hmm. It really is. You can see when the uh, when the stress is off, she's re really a really good, caring person. Hmm. It's like, don't give up, don't give up on the bar. Try something different. Pursue your dreams. Hmm. Encourage Daiso to leave and, uh... Try his hand at cooking? Or don't give up the, on the bar? I almost want to say... Try something different. Because it could be good. It could be the change he needs. To try something different. Sometimes you, sometimes you need to shake it up. You know? Sometimes it just isn't working. Instead of grinding away something that's not working, and, uh... It is a tough choice. In Mio's case, definitely don't take that job. That's a terrible prospect. In Daiso's case, I feel like making that change might be good for you. I'm gonna do it. You're right. What's the point of trying for people who clearly don't care? Some people, no matter how much you work, it doesn't matter. Daiso, you seem like a nice guy, but this job clearly isn't cutting it or making you happy. Restaurant business is ugly. If you can't handle the stress, maybe you should try something new. Different career? Are you saying I should be a salaryman in an office somewhere? Gee, I don't know if I could do a job like that. Okay, this, this option was not uh, what I was expecting, but... Didn't say that exactly. No, no, it's okay. No need to apologize. Maybe you're right. I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I should throw in the towel. Hmm. Hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Maybe there's something else you're good at. It's... Maybe it's... Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Daiso. That kind of came off way more negatively than I intended. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'll see you around. Came off way more negative than I intended. doesn't always do that. It is very hard to know how it'll pan out. There's a keypad here. Dumpster. The smell of rotting meat. Phone ringing over and over. Raina. That all really happened. Oh, hey, it's that detective from the other night. I wonder if she remembers me. That detective is right here and can hear you, and she's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. Ah! How'd you know my name? It's on your name tag. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyway, I'm just, like, surprised you need to talk to me again. I don't. Just passing through. Ooh, right, that's good. I think I already said everything I could to that other guy. I have to rack my brain pretty hard to come up with new material, you know? What other guy? Tido? Titus? Titus! Typhoon! Tyra! I think if Tyra was here, what did you tell him? Oh, right, Tyra. Yeah, I told him you were here and you were pretty hardcore. I told him I was hardcore. What does that mean exactly? 
Hard to know when giving up is for the best and when it's destructive. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about that lately, Lilac. Like, when is it good to give up? When do you reach that point when uh, you're endlessly putting time and effort into something and it's not going anywhere? When your time is literally better, better spent elsewhere than it could be. Applied towards this thing that isn't moving, that you're applying yourself to, and that's not getting anywhere. Well, in my instance, I was thinking about that in terms of difficult visit video games, but it is also something very applicable to real life. You know, I told him you were a cop that, like, it didn't play by the rules. But a drink if they wanted to. Like, you know, take the edge off and stuff. Okay. We definitely shouldn't have gone in here. You told him I... Shit, what else did you say? I don't have much else to tell. You told him I heard a firecracker outside before you came in and about, about the broken lock and how you said you'd seen a strange girl. I mean, nothing bad. I... Yeah, nothing bad. Nothing bad, absolutely. Oh, your eyes got all intense there for a sec. <clears throat> That's nothing. Just dust in my eyes. Painful, stupid, idiotic dust that is causing me to squint. Harshly. Oh yeah, Detective, you should be careful. It's super dusty in here. Thanks, Kobayashi. Thank you. I'm going to leave now. You enjoy your day. Bye. Oh, the talking, talking to Kobayashi was a mistake. Most important to look after yourself first and foremost, exactly. And ultimately, if it's starting to affect your own well-being, then it's time to step back. This police tape is all that's left of the department's investigation. I'm more focused on writing me off as insane than finding answers to that sewer. Alright, in we get. It's now or never. No more excuses. To have a look around and find out what really happened that night. It still feels as heavy and stale as it did that night. I came in here looking for Kasuki. Something like much has changed since then. I'm not sure why I expect anything different. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around and see what I can find. They come this far anyway. Shrine gate? I don't seem to question why the shrine gate was down here. Who put it here in the first place? Yeah. He definitely seems like a stoner, Kobayashi. I don't seem to question why the shrine gate was down here. Who put it here in the... Oh, yeah. Rota said it wasn't relevant to the case. Of course he did. Red markings Reina drew are still on the walls. Is she trying to guide me to her? Are they for someone else? Something else? The bottom of the well is hidden in darkness. Could have at least used a different rope to get down there. Touching it once was enough for a one lifetime things. Well, I've got no choice. Yeah, it's a really interesting series of decisions that seem to have piled up on us in a hurry here. In a weird way, it feels like uh, roughing up Goto ingratiated us with uh, Miho there. It was a mistake to come here. What left me here are horrible memories. But I saw Reina. 
girl who couldn't possibly be alive in this tunnel. I'm sure of it. Jibura and the others didn't see what I saw. I have to keep going. There's more to this. Can we go home? No, we can't. War paint. Reports of that night never mentioned this. They have missed something so obvious. Another hatch going further into the sewer. Possible Raina escaped through it on that night. It wasn't so far off the mark after all. If Raina used this hatch, I might be able to find some proof to take to Yukimura and put his doubts to rest once and for all. Very heavy atmosphere. Everything still look good and sound good on the stream, wise. You? Well, I don't like this. I don't like this already. Button? That's a button. Okay. Hi, Manji. This seems very pleasant. Everything is fine? What? Sorry? Oh, okay. Scene trend. Wait? Sorry? This smells like a puzzle. There are very distinct markings around here. Very much gives me Silent Hill vibes. Definitely see where that's coming from. Yeah. Huh? Is this some sort of trick? Looks the same as when I came in. This doesn't have something to do with the lights. Alright, we lose investigation for failing puzzles. We notice about these. Huh? Oh, I think I see it. Count the flashes: one, two, three, four. Just three. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's four. This one is one, two. This one is one. One. I just noticed a red marking there, too. Like, maybe that's a, a hint failure. Two. Three. Alright. Now that should... Enough to progress. Go. Yep. Reyna, what is this doing here? Oh, idle? Why would you leave this behind? The door seems stuck. I'll have to pry it open. Better head back to the surface and see if I can't find a crowbar or something. Ah, crud. Alright. Oh, what? What is happening? What's that noise? Shit, the hatch is closed. I'm trapped. Oh, this is bad. This isn't good. I have to get out of here. Okay. Oh, 
one like this. One like this. It's not real. It's not real. It's just, it's just a, it's an episode. The doctor said it's not real. Because he said it wasn't real. I don't like this at all. Hi. Kazuki? Kazuki, somehow, somehow I knew I'd find you if I came down here. Wait, don't go, please. Don't leave me again. Oh. Tanaka. Ah! Just breathe. Whoa! Oh, my head's pounding like I was hit by a damn freight train. My room. How did I get back here? I can't remember. The tunnel and those noises in the nightmare. It felt real. As real as the sheets in this bed. Kazuki. I saw Kazuki, didn't I? I felt like he said something to me. What was it? How did I get home? I was in Shinjuku. Under the sewer then. Then what? Mitsunaka was right. Pushing myself too hard. This way I'll burn out if I'm not careful. Yep. Huh? What's this? Ah. Uh, photo of the tunnel. In the tunnel. Impossible. Can't be. It was a nightmare. A delusion. It wasn't real. It was picked up in the station, but... I've never seen this before. Why can't I remember? What could it have been real? If it was, if it was that, that means Kazuki really is out there somewhere just like Reina was. Why this photo? Some sort of stage performance? He made, there's no doubt about it. It's Reina, all right. Maybe someone will recognize her. My mind is racing. I need to take a moment and get my thoughts together before I do anything rash. Yeah, the writing on it was gone. Interesting. Hey, Lady Fluff. I don't want to get up either. Huh. I don't blame you. If I could sleep my days away, like you, I probably would. The thing is, if I stay here, I won't have any chance of finding him. I saw him, Fluff. Last night. Sort of, anyway. I understand it, but he's out there somewhere. I'm the only one who can bring him home. You must believe me, eh? Yumi, you know how early it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Ayami. I heard you were up. The door was open, so I let myself in. Ah, we found our way in. Unconsciously. So to speak. Oh, okay. Um, do you need something? I don't know. I figured I'd check in on you. Things have been so quiet lately without Tanaka. I thought you might be lonely. Say, where were you last night? I listened for you and didn't hear anything. I... don't know. You dumb by a late night. You know how those can get light, right? Sorry if I worried you. Are you sure you didn't hear me come in? That earthquake. That's bad. Whoa, that was another big one, wasn't it? A bit more frequent lately, huh? If was something going to happen to you, if I didn't know where you were, and see why I'd be worried. I do love Mrs. Donut. I wonder if Mrs. Donut is friends with Sleepy, Do Sleepy Donut. You mean you don't have to look after me? I can manage. Just let her look after you. Don't say that. We're neighbors. It's my job to look after you. Who's going to take care of you if I don't? I'm okay, really. I should probably get ready soon, though. So. Right, right. I can take a hint. But Ayami, don't work too late. Right? 
Where do we stand? We can still take another hit. Probably. Yeah, we definitely need to take a pill. Pills that the doctor did, that the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kowski left them. I hate these pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. Yumi is an absolute angel. Ito looks even more tired here. Oh, we can in theory take another pill. I do not want to exceed my uh, recommended dosage. We're still very focused. We took one. We can still take more. <laughs> Reject my humanity. Who'll take care of you if I don't? Ah, uh, nonsense. I... The mask at all. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that reference didn't click with me immediately. Ooh, map screen. Juku, consider the commercial heart of Tokyo's metropolis as well as its seedy underbelly. How's the location of that quiet back alley where I chased Kazuki? My life almost fell apart. Center of all investigations in the city, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Headquarters. Office is in a nearby building. As I'm not on active duty, I won't have access to the main building. It may be useful to check in with Saki if I need something. What do you think? Check in with Saki? We did not, in fact, cost her a job. Ito does seem... She does seem extremely depressed. There is also the, uh, possibility that the, uh, consequences of our, uh, evidence deep dive, uh, could come back to haunt us here. And again, I don't... Like, the one new thing we gained from that is the photo of Reyna. So we could go and check and see if anyone's heard of her. Which I think we're gonna do. Hi, Saki. Ayami, what the hell are you doing here? Get out of here before someone, before someone notices you. I saw what you did. Pulling the alarm. Stinging into the evidence locker. Did you honestly think I wouldn't notice? Look, if you have the only one that noticed. I'm not going to tell anyone, but seriously, what the hell were you thinking? You've always been nice to me. Covered for me. I owed you, so now we're even. Wait, no, you owe me big time for this. Big time. I'm not gonna ask you why you did what you did. What's I don't think I want to know I don't think I want to know. My opinion, get some help with whatever you're working through instead of pulling crazy stunts like that. Anyway, I can't let you into the building. Not my call. That came from Yukimura. He said not to let any non active officers into the building. I don't think he knows, but be more careful, okay? Ah, bless your heart, Saki. I don't get any more out of Saki. I should go. Well, thank you, Saki, for saving my ass. I guess we should. We could go ask the people of Shinjuku. See if they know anything. Oh, goody. Here I am, working the morning shift because my boss doesn't like me talking to cops all the time, and what do I find? A cop here bright and early to talk to me. Must be looking for something. <sighs> something like that. Friendship. Friendship with Saki is, is maintained. Now our crimes are off the record. Something like that. So we could chat off the record. I know how this goes by now. 
I'm gonna stand there until I tell you something. So, tell you something. So what do you want? Uh, here, have a look at this. It's a possibility that she was around this area when when Tanaka was taken. A great detective like yourself must know how many girls pass through this part of town on a nightly basis. I'm well aware. Lucky for you, I'm not asking about all the girls. Just this one. Well, what do you expect, then? How would I remember someone, something like that? It's kind of hard to make out, but the girl has red hair, if that helps. Red hair, huh? Oh, yeah, that changes everything. Except it doesn't. What's your point? I think I might have seen her a few weeks ago during the, uh, incident, so... Ah, chat my ass. You're still working. Let me help you. The little picture there says 1996 on it. Pretty sure whoever gave that to you was pulling your leg. I'm not sure what they're paying you for. If, some, if someone like me can tell you that. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, hold on. We're just starting up a conversation here. What exactly do you want me to say? I can't lie to you, can I? Well, I could, but you'd only come back here again. With a date. It'll even be a date. It could be a room number or a password for all I know. So think hard. Honestly, I don't think there's any other way to say I don't know that I haven't said already. This girl wouldn't have been just another girl. She would have stood out. So think. My gut tells me she passed through here. I don't put my thinking cap on. Ready? Hmm. You're messing with me now, aren't you? Who? Me? Why would you ever think that? Yeah, as, fun as, this is, as, fun as, this, as fun as this is, I'm not lying to you. I don't know her is all. And trust me, if telling you she, if telling you'd get her, get you out of my hair, I would. Anything else I can help you with? Pour you a good morning drink, perhaps? <sighs> Papers are saying you might be crazy. Take care of yourself. Oh. Well... Friendship with Miho stri slightly strained, but uh, maintained. Does Daiso want anything to do with us? Oh, hello there, Ayami. You're working bright and early today. How are you? I feel better, but thanks for asking. Oh, yeah? Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe. Any chance you've seen this girl? Hey, she's pretty cute. At least she might be under that creepy marker. Um, she does look familiar, but I'm not sure why. Ah, uh, familiar? You've seen her here. Here? Uh, no, I don't think so. It says 1996 in the corner. I wonder what that means. Oh, 96 was a good year for me. Oh? That was the year I made big plan to go to culinary school and become the world's greatest chef. Didn't have a care in the world other than my food. Look at me now. Didn't quite turn out the way I planned. Selling greasy food to people who wouldn't know good cooking from a convenience store rice ball. Wish I could go back. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Hey, could I have a look at that photo again? Yeah, of course. You know, I think I might know who it is. Huh? Looks just like this flash in the pan idol from way back when. A hit song or something like that. Anyway, her name was, um... Sparkly Diamond. Dang it, I can't remember. Oh, sorry, Ayami, I thought I had it. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Remembering it wrong. Wow, was she an idol from 96? That would explain why Miho wouldn't remember. Anyhow, uh, one of that was from when I was younger. She must be married with kids by now. Be positive it's the same girl. Well, it sure looks like her, that's for sure. It's kind of embarrassing, but I was really into idols and stuff when I was younger. I kept a scrapbook and everything. Jeez, I hope no one ever finds that. Okay, so she looks like an old idol. Anything else? Uh, nope, not that I can think of. I would ask someone younger than me. She may have been around towards the end of my idol obsession. Hope that helped a little. Yeah, it did. Uh, thanks, Daiso. No problem, Miami. I'll see you around. That was actually kind of helpful, Daiso. Thank you. I'm not going back to ask Miho. I don't want to bother her anymore. I am, however. I'm going to bother you. Hey, what you doing? Thought you guys only worked at night. Like you were uh, nocturnals or whatever. Oh, 
boy. Probably gonna regret this, but have you seen this girl? Oh, that's some creepy stuff. Did she, like, mark all over her face for revenge? Man, that's pretty messed up. Yeah, I didn't. Listen, I'm not sure what exactly I expected, but I shouldn't have bothered you, so I'll get going. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, slow down, detective. What you got there is a genuine pop idol performance photo there. I knew you'd be the one to know. I knew you'd be the guy. Thanks, Kobayashi. Wait, you know something? I mean, you know about this picture? Uh, yep. So what is it? Well, based on the, like, lighting and outfits, it looks like it's pretty ancient. I mean, it, like, it might be over ten years old now. If ten years is ancient, I'm not gonna ask how old you think I am. Anyway, what else can you tell me about this photo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did, I did notice that Raina flickered in again. It's like... It's like occasionally the game just loads in all the default objects that are on this map. And then... Blinks out and then sets the current state of the game. Oh, yeah, I'd recognize that stage anywhere. It's in this little cozy little spot in Akihaba Akihabara. The lady was probably, like, uh, based there or whatever. Akihabara. Akihabara. Akihabara? This one time, me and my girlfriend were at a concert there. You have a girlfriend? I think she had the hots for me, so... Okay, okay, I get the picture. Akihabara. Huh? I gotta say, kid, you really know your stuff. <laughs> yep, yep. People tell me that a lot, you know? Like, they think I'm pretty wisdomful. But I'm sure they do. Oh no, been fun chatting, but I better get back to work. This would fall apart without me. Ah, oh, location unlocked. Not getting to something. I'm not going into the sewers anytime soon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't run for it. Oh. Don't think our appearance there's meant to be a bug. It's interesting. You can't go to Akihabara. 20. Akihabara is a mecca of geek culture with its numerous electronic stores, maid cafes, and arcades. Under its cute exterior, it also holds a dark underbelly of exploitation that isn't often talked about publicly. Let's go. Dark side of Akihabara. Oh. Oh. Oh, now we're getting places. Cheap clone and a dumb muscle shirt aren't going to be enough to convince me this guy is tough. Your bouncer? Either dad probably enjoy messing with a mouth breather like this, but I doubt he'd know anything about pop idols or Reina. We should move on for now. It's gonna be important one of these days, that locked door. In Shinju. In Shinjuku. Instead, there's a few salarymen gathered around looking at pictures of high school girls posted up on the wall. I've got no interest in going inside a place like that unless I have to. Oh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be around those people. The two guys standing on outside the ramen shop look forward. I can hear them speaking fluent sounding Japanese. They're pouring over what looks like a map and some drawings. Hi, I don't mean to be rude, but I couldn't but notice all the maps and notes you guys are passing back and forth. Seems kind of intense. No, no, thank you. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to hit us a flyer. Doctor here to receive a very persistent maid. You're not a maid in disguise, are you? Ha! Huh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Where's Daru? He he'd know all about. Uh, he'd have the answers we seek. All about uh, Raina's idol history, uh, whatnot. That that's the guy we need here. To be perfectly honest, we need Daru. Uh, God. Nope, I doubt I could summon that pet required to be a maid for ten minutes, let alone all day. 
just curious about what you two were doing. Zion, uncovering all the hidden secrets of Akiba, of course. What about you? Um, something kind of similar, actually. But you guys seem a lot more well-versed in the area than I am. How far back do these side streets go, anyways? Oh boy, you don't even know the half of it. There's whole bases of electronic stores, stalls, still in computer and radio parts. Without, and about anything else you could imagine. We decided to map out the area. A bit of urban exploration. I'm sure it's not very original, but it's been a fun side project. Akihabara is a fascinating area, that's for sure. Urban exploration, huh? Sounds interesting. Most of my friends just sleep on their days off. Are you guys English teachers? Who, me? No, I'm a writer. Oh. Well, an aspiring writer. I've only gotten a few gigs. I'm a web developer in my day job. That's the way to do it. It's projects like this that give me fuel for the creative fire. Who knows? Maybe you'll be reading something and find an anecdote about this conversation in it someday. I'm an artist. Graphic designer on the side. Code here commissioned me to come out here with him and make sketches in it as we explore the city for the book he's working on. Huh. Huh. Never guessed. Never would have guessed people would be doing things like that. What kind of book are you writing? Urban horror. Dead. Neon noir in the seemingly clean streets of Tokyo. Boy, have I got some tales for you. I doubt you'd believe the things that go on in the city, even if I told you. I wouldn't. Might surprise you how much of, how much I'm willing to believe. So have you been mapping out the street? Anything interesting about it? Interesting might not be the word I'd use. I'd be getting kind of a weird vibe around here. I mean, on the surface, it looks like any other side street in Akiba. It's got everything you'd expect. A smoky arcade, a maid cafe, a cat cafe, a couple of bookstores. Nothing unusual there. Not for Akiba, anyway. So far, so good. We were almost ready to move on, but... See that elevator over there? Yeah, sure. What about it? Looks normal, right? Well, those can be deceiving. Yeah, we got a little pet theory about it. Get this. Thing. I think it eats peep. <laughs> you think the elevator eats people? We've been, sta we've been staking it out over the last few days. As far as we can tell, it doesn't belong to any store in that building. I'll, g I'll give you that mysterious elevator. Worthy of mystery. Get this, it only lets certain people in. They get in. Never see them come back out. Yeah, go ahead and try it. We have. So logically, it's either eaten. It's either eaten people or Yakuza vampires. Yeah. Elevate. Yakuza vampires. <laughs> we have red. We have Red Dead Reven Redemption. We have Red Dead Redemption uh, zombie mode. Where's our Yakuza vampire mode? It. That feels like a crossover that the Yakuza series might actually do. I've thought a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it might be a thing. I mean, there's a ton of shady activity around here. Damn, Sire, that might actually that might be the book. The Yakuza Vampires of Akiba. Write this down. What? What? Oh, I'm doing better than writing it down. I'm already making some sketches. Oh, boy. This is the best idea you've had all week, Cody. Didn't you say you knew some Hollywood agent in L.A.? Yeah. Once you write this, there's no way they can ignore it. Vampires are all the rage. Or they were. We could bring them back. Yeah, yeah, there might just be another exit. Yakuza already had zombies? Wait, what did Yakuza had zombies, Manji? How'd I miss that? <laughs> so much wind. Oh, no. Get storms in the area, Dark? Hope they aren't too bad. <laughs> and yeah... <laughs> Yes, we, we need Yakuza, Yakuza Vampires. We need it yesterday. And it, I agree, it, it is highly possible that there's just another exit that people are leaving through. <laughs> Bring them back. You guys certainly have a hell of an imagination. Take it from me, this city has a lot of strange things that happen in real life, too. Trust me, you start asking around and you'll be surprised what people tell you. Yakuza Dead Souls, oh.
I might have, have to look that up out of curiosity, Anji. Bad attempt at appealing with a Western audience. I could see where I could see where they're coming from, but I've my everywhere system. That's just Majima, though. It's an interesting, interesting crowd there. It's the elevator. The elevator is out of service. By the time the automatic doors open, the noise of the Pachinko parlor and the smell of the stale cigarette smoke assaults your senses. I guess we could try and go in there. I think. We're doing all. I think for now, we will be right. Short break just to go grab some woman, just to grab some water. So be right back momentarily. Refresh the whole hydration vessel here. Looking at OBS, it seems. Looking at OBS, it's done quite well. Going for three hours now. If I call it hydration, yeah, just hydration mechanic just uh, gives you an overall boost in stats. Helps you focus. Helps calm the nerves. Reduce reduce neurosis. Increase. Slight boost to sanity. Helps you focus, so increase investigation. Could probably justify a reason to make it increase professionalism too, but uh, fair enough. Okay, let's get back into things here. Let's enter. Oh, hello, child. HVAC. Hello, child. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Miami. What's your name? That. That's exactly. I'm water only. Hmm? I'm Moika. Moika? Oh no. What if you want? Make it quick. I'm kind of waiting for someone, so. Alright, I'll cut to the chase. Tell me anything about this photo. Oh, what decade is that dress from? Wait, glow sticks? Uh-oh, this is some idle thing, is it? If you're from some modeling agency or whatever, I'll tell you right now, there's no way I'll wear that kind of gothic Lolita stuff. Uh no, nothing like that. I'm an investigator of sorts. I'm less interested in the fashion, more about the girl herself. What should I know? Idle stuff is so boring. Hey, are you like the investigators on TV? That girl cheat with some guy's wife or something? It's so exciting! You know what you know what you should do? You should totally ask the collector about that photo. The the what what kind of collector? No, the collector. It's like a name he gives himself. 
Guy knows everything there is to know around here. That's definitely Daru. My friend Akane told me about it. With that girl's in Akia Akihabara. But he knows about it. Why? Is this guy an expert on idols or something? No, weren't you listening? Like I said, he knows everything. Which shops are employing foreigners illegally? It's behind on their rent? And he even knows which capsule machines have the rarest stuff. At least that's what I heard. Uh, no offense, but why would some high school girl need information like that? Well, that's... Uh, it's complicated. Akane works around here part-time, and there was a customer who used to come in and kind of obsess over her, you know? Hey, yeah. Uh, real creep. Before long, he was following her home. More of the shining hair, indeed, rather than the shining finger. She complained, but her boss wouldn't believe her, so Akane asked the collector to give her something to make the weirdo go away. And did he? I sure did. He gave her a photo of the guy that she mailed to the creep's wife. Let's just say it was, uh, incriminating. Oh. What did he get out of it? This collector? Why don't you ask Akane, ask Akane yourself? He's out with someone right now, but should be back any minute. Uh, thanks, Moka. I might just do- I might just do that. Huh. How do I find the collector? Okay. Like I said, I don't really know much. Ask Akane, she'll be back soon. That might give us a neurosis point. All right, let's go find Akane. Oh, they're gone. Ah, tiny ramen shops like this one bring me back. There are a lot of creepy men in this game. <laughs> when I was a student, I used to go to a ramen shop to get a bowl once a week. It's my own private little ritual. Wow. Cat cafe. Cat theme maid cafe, as opposed to a regular cat cafe. Maybe there's a police seat. Maybe there's a police themed maid cafe somewhere. Kazuki would have gotten a kick out of that. Well. Uh. Nya. Welcome, gentle mistress. I'm Aiko Nyan. What's your name? Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Ayami. Nyalo, Ayami Nyan. Your table will be ready in just a few moments. We apologize for the wait, and hope you can forgive us. Does the mistress have a membership card? Uh, no, I don't, but... Uh, hey, hold on, take your hands off me! It's important that I personally guide you to your table, Ayami Nyan. Nyan? Perfect. Well, have a good night, Doug. <laughs> and take care. Thanks for coming out. Perfect. There we are. Don't you feel better? Actually, I was hoping we could talk about... Uh... Oh, yes. Mr. Sayami Nyan. Averages included on the menu under a full access communication. <laughs> we have... We're fighting the whole gang here. Hi, Paris. It's only 1,000 yen extra. Then you, have... then you can ask all the questions you want. Yay! 1,000 yen. Oh. If you want pictures, you have to order the pretty checky photo option. 1,000 yen per photo. Yay! I think you may have gotten the wrong impression. I'm clearly starving. Hmm. Mistress, where are my manners? It wasn't very polite of me. This humble serpent fetched for you. Uh, uh, no, hold on. You're not listening. I only want to ask you about a photo. Oh, mistress, you're so hungry you don't even remember me explaining the pretty checky photo option. Grown delirious. Get your food soon. You have nyan pan nyan cakes. Pawberry cheesecake. Persto pasta. Are available to come in a drink set. Uh, the pawberry cheesecake sounds good. <laughs> We're not on duty, so, uh... Be the harm in ordering Nyan Nyan pancakes. Okay, okay, I have the, uh, let's see here. The, the Nyan Pan Pan Nyan cakes and the pretty kitty. Oh, excellent choice, Ami Nyan. 
Those are a very popular item on our menu. Hmm. My god. Right, so I ordered. It means I can finally ask you about this. Before your order arrives, you must first do the ultra secret Yan Pan Fan cheer. What? <laughs> Nyan Pa. What? Do I. I have to? Come on, surely I don't need to do something silly like that. But, but I must insist I am a Nyan. One can't taste the love cooked into the Nyan Pan. Nyan cake, at least for least, but a Nyan Pan Fan cheer. Oh boy. Fine, you win. What do you want me to do? Excellent, 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 Yant. Mistress, you can feel the love pouring from your kind heart. Let's begin. Please place your paws into the air like this. <laughs> uh, uh, like, oh my god, she's doing it. Like this? Perfect, I mean, Nyan. You sure you haven't done this before? Uh, I, now, now, you must repeat these sacred verses. Nyan Malo, Nyan Palo, Nyan Walla Pa. You are you already repeating this too. What? <laughs> Nyan Malo, Nyan Palo, Nyan Walla Pa. Um, Nyan. Ah, ah. Don't forget to raise your paws. Get ready, everyone. Nyan Malo, Nyan Palo, Nyan Walla Pa. Unbelievable! The passion, the vigor, I can feel the love pouring into the room I have in Yan. Mm. Y you know, you know I can't lie. I do feel like a bit of my negativity just flew out of me. And I've said the cheer, can we? Uh oh, oh my goodness, mistress! Tanyan, your pancakes have arrived. That was quick. That that was so quick. Hold on. You didn't tell me that Nyan Pan Nyan cakes were shaped like little cats? Oh yes, they are painstakingly made with love by our staff. Th this little whipped cream tail. It's... it's so cute! Nyan. Now, Ayami Nyan was saying something about a picture, I recall. Hold up! Any of us sings. You can't talk on an empty, on an empty stomach, right? That... That... Oh, I see. Aww. They are precious. <laughs> that was a positive. That was a net positive. I'm glad we did that. Does your maid staff actually make these? Because they were amazing. Of course I have a nyan. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Oh, right. Man. Have you ever seen the girl in this photo? Let me see. Yeah. Whoa, are you alright? I am concentrating to my fullest, I am in Yan. Oh, but this young mistress is not familiar to me, Nyan. <sighs> I see. Well, thanks anyway. My dress is so pretty. Looks like it was custom made. I've seen some of that quality before, Nyan. Maybe, she, maybe you should ask the collector. She's a fashion designer in Akia Bar who designs costumes for the maids and idols who don't have a big budget. Ooh. Collector, huh? How do I find her? Supposedly she has a shop in this very street. I bet you anything that the mystery elevator takes us to the collector. S supposedly? She's a very mysterious lady, I am Inyan. My co-worker Mina Nyan has met her. Her shift starts soon. You should ask her about it. I will, thanks. Oh, and, um... Next time, can I get a picture of the pancakes? I ate them so quickly that I forgot. Of course I have, Inyan. Oh. That was... That was precious. Yeah. It's... There's a Manaki Neko. Wow, there's a lot to explore here in Shinjuku. One of the many foreign tourists who frequent the electric town site of Akihabara. A Hawaiian shirt with a fanny pack, huh? Daddy speaks enough Japanese to be helpful to me. Look. 
small bookshop that sells mostly manga and cheap, brightly colored magazines. Uh, hi. Do you mind if I bother you with a few questions? It seems like you know this area a little better than I do. You're not trying to sell me something, are you? Nope, don't want anything from you except a little bit of your time, if you can spare it. Good. I'm not so I'm not so she. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? You seem friendly. Nice to meet you too. I'm Miami Ito. Look for someone, but I feel a little out of my depth around here. Everything in Akihabara feels a little strange to me. Ah, that's one way to put it. My bookshop nestled in between a cat maid cafe and a cat cafe. So, yes, it is all a little strange. Honestly, it's a little stressful set of neighbors to have. Not a fan of your neighbors? Huh, well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, who doesn't love maids? Um... Okay, maybe you're Daru in this, in this circumstance. Cat Cafe is a different story altogether. Don't get me wrong, the owner is a nice lady and all, but those cats of hers make a lot of noise at night. If she's not careful, they might drive the locals a little crazy. It's some cons consolation that the little buggers are so damn cute. Hmm. Things have really changed around here. When my father owned this store, this area was nothing like it is now. It had more... more... authenticity. Nowadays, everywhere I go, it feels like it's one big advertisement. Except I'm not one to talk. I'm not any better. This bookstore used to be a real hidden gem. We sold original print in rare volumes. My family were known as quite the collectors. C collectors Well, not me. The collection mostly belonged to my grandfather. He had a real eye for art and took pride in finding original works. I admired the hell out of him, but his devotion to the arts couldn't keep up with the times. Nowadays I just sell weekly manga magazines. I've done pretty well for myself. I can't complain. They were the talent with the eye that my father and grandfather had. But I guess you don't really know how much something means to you until it's gone, you know? I do. Thanks for your time, Atsushi. 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 No worries. My, my normal customers aren't quite as chatty, so having a talk like this was a nice little change of pace. Hmm. So you're going to a cat cafe now, huh? Let me talk to you. This is as far as we can go. DVD Blu-ray! Alright. So was I lucked out getting an apartment that allows animals. If I didn't, you'd probably find me in a cat cafe every other day. Cat cafe! Uh, hello, miss. Miss Ito. Do you mind if I, you mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh-huh. I'm the owner, Sachiko Ay Akiyama. Say, you're not a health inspector or anything, right? I had an inspection last week. <laughs> I don't, uh, I'm, uh, slight divergence, but it reminds you of this one uh, clip from uh, Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> I think it was the the UK version of the Kitchen Nightmares, where is there uh, like getting ready to clean up, getting ready to clean up someone's kitchen? Like, opens the back door. He's like, "Who's that? Who's that? Health, health inspector? No, fuck me." <laughs> it's a oh exterminator. Oh hell yeah, we need you. <laughs> she is absolutely adorable, though. Unlucky for both of us, I'm not. I'm expecting something and was wondering if you'd seen the girl in the photo. Hmm, well... Um, honestly, she looks kind of like... She kind of looks like all the other girls around here. You know, the maids and stuff. I don't know much about it. Oh, hello. Hi, cat. Thanks, two of us. Oh, sorry about him. He can be a little too friendly sometimes. Oh, this is adorable. 
Hi there, friend. Oh, our hat does have ears on it. <laughs> hello, friend. Oh, hello there, little one. What's your name? That's Tomo. You never want to touch him right now. He's a little sick. Uh-oh. Making some, uh, messes, if you know what I mean. Out of both ends. Guess you can see why I was a bit concerned earlier. Took him to the vet this morning, but they can't figure it out either. Told me to wait it out, but I think it's getting worse. Sorry to hear that. Does this sort of thing happen often? No, no, of course not. My cats all get the best care. They're fed the best food, and are in the best kitty cardio routines, and are pampered day and night. Even read the paper to them to make sure they're up to date on current events. But poor Tomo. Maybe we should, maybe we should go ask the cat collector. What? Cat collector? Okay, now we've heard about three different collectors in Nakia Bar. Yeah, she's a breeder who lives around here who specializes in knowing everything feline. Oh, Tomo not on the frog. Oh, he threw up again. Sorry, can you excuse me for a second? No problem. I'll come back another time. Hope he feels better soon. Hmm, right. Hi, friend. That's a mannequin echo. Once you know anything about Reyna, every time I brought her up, I heard the same name over and over. The Collector. It was the only clue I had. I knew that if I was going to get any further in the case, that was the thread I'd need to follow. I need to go and see. Can I ask you about the collector? Huh, Ayami Nyan, back so soon. Ah, uh, hi. Is Mina Nyan back yet? Ah, she's doing it too. Oh. I was going to ask her about that dressmaker you mentioned earlier. Oh, well, she's here, but. Uh... What? Well, the thing is, I don't think she'll be able to talk. Something powerful has happened. Oh, no. It's really bad. Hmm. How bad are we talking? Monumentally, perfectly terrible, I am Inyan. The perfect storm of soul-crushing existential dread. Uh, what? Can I help? Oh, I Inyan is so kind-hearted. We shall talk to you. Wait here, one moment, please. Oh, um, hi. Um, yeah. Oh no. You're right. There's something bad happened. Maybe I can help you. Uh, I don't think I can even talk about it. Every time I think about him, I just want to go to the back and cry. Try to relax. I'm a police officer. I'm sure I can figure out a way to make this better. Police? Well, it's... It's Samuel. Samuel? Who's he? This relation of yours? A boyfriend? Did he hurt you? Went out with your money? That... Oh no! Samuel Cuddlesworth! My best friend! He's missing! No wonder Ayami, f Ayami fits in so well here. They have the same... Uh, same brain in terms of uh, naming their cats. Samuel. Cuddlesworth. Okay. I think I see what's happening here. Oh, okay. They're ultra rare. Ultra rare. What of a kind kitty, plush. Which is Sammy Nyan. These things don't grow on trees, you know. <sighs> uh, a teddy bear. You lost a teddy bear. Hey, it's important. A plush. Samuel Cuddlesworth is no, it's not a teddy bear. It was an ultra rare cat plush. Oh, cruel world. The hideousness of the cosmos laid bare before my very eyes. Why did I think you'd understand? No one understands. I'm all alone. I'm all alone and then we die. Oh. oh, I hate seeing her like this. I don't think she'll be of much use to sight until she finds a replacement for her beloved Cuddlesworth. Thank you for listening, Abby Nyan. Oh, you're here with some pancakes? 
Pancakes! I'll find you a plush. Oh, listen, I can't promise you a, as rare of a... Uh, plush, a single cuddle, cuddle snipe, but I'll find you something, alright? Cuddlesworth. Samuel Cuddlesworth. A second. Twice removed, actually. I didn't realize Samuel had such a big family tree. Why are you looking at me like that? Alright, let's go find us. Kitty plush. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, menu. Menu, menu, menu. 2500 yen for a parfait? Those in a maid cafe, you're not only paying for the food, but for the girls to waste your hand and foot like a lord. Hmm. Not really my thing. She says after having it... ...been... ...very much her thing. That's a mannequin echo. Obtained. Alright, let's ask for the collector again. What's the collector you mentioned earlier? The cat breeder? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, but now's not a good time. Tomo keeps throwing up and pooping. A lot. Or he might be really sick. I don't know what to do. That's not good at all. Where did all this start? Yesterday, his tummy seemed a little upset. But I didn't think much about it. This afternoon, he really started to, um, explode if you catch my drift. Sorry. I don't get it, though. I think his diet has changed. It does sound odd. What's he eat normally? Oh, you know the usual stuff. Sashimi, mostly. Uh, sa sa sashimi You're joking, right? No, of course not. Why would I joke about that? You can't feed a cat sashimi. Of course you can. And the wild cats catch the fish right out of the streams. It's the same thing. Yeah, exactly. She came around to it real quick. It's not exactly the same. I have a cat, and... Bet you feed it those store-bought foods with all the extra vitamins and minerals added in, right? Well, yeah. Huh, a sucker. You bought into the corporate lies about pet health. Kitties can't be healthy eating that chemical swill. Yeah. Big cat. <laughs> Selling you on its uh, nutritional swill. Chemical? Swill? Well, my cat's also not puking everywhere, so... Sorry. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, uh, yeah, got a little carried away there. I didn't mean to be rude. At least since you're only trying to help. That's alright. Your cats do seem pretty healthy. Is there anything different about today's lunch order? Now that you mention it, I usually only order one box from Soichi, the sushi vendor next door. For the last few days, I've received two boxes. I didn't really think anything of it until you mentioned it. What do I do? <laughs> the accursed corporate fat cats, exactly. Say, you don't seem too busy. Why? Why don't I? Why? Why don't I seem busy? I am busy. <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry. I love that. That's. We need more of that reaction to uh, side quest givers. Why don't I seem busy? I am busy. I am very busy. Do I have a face that says, please give me errands? <laughs> well, no, but you're a fellow cat lover and you seem so nice. It would only take a second to go talk to Suichi, honest. I would, but I can't leave the store. Can't even think straight about the cat collector or anything else until this is off my mind. Please go talk to him. I'll talk to him. I'll have a chat with this Suichi and see what he knows. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Go run errands. Why not? Are you Suichi? You are Suichi. I bet you have a crush on Sachiko, huh? Oh, hey. And you win the cat. You gotta win a cat plush first.
crap. Ah, no. Oh. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh my god. Oh wait. Drop. That was easy. Although I suppose we could. If this is. We may as well get another side quest. Hello again. This would be the friend I heard about. Akane, right? Uh, yeah, but if you'd open your eyes for literally two seconds, you'd see we're a little busy right now and go away. Oh. Oh no. What happened? That's what's wrong. What's wrong? I don't know you. What do you care? What happened? Maybe I can help. She's fine. One of her customers is an asshole. That's all. Mm -hmm. Customer? Don't look at her like that. Not what you think. We're at one of the JK cafes around here. I want high school girls in uniform to serve food and play games and stuff. Nothing weird. Is it the customers want to hold my hand or pretend to be my teacher? Sometimes they buy me things. It's harmless. Does it bother you that it Customers who want to hold your hand are no mostly middle-aged men. Hey, you don't know her. Don't act all high and mighty just because you're older. Better than working in some shitty restaurant or at a convenience store. Fine, you're right. I can't judge you, but obviously something isn't working out if she's crying like that. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to judge. I'm just generally worried. I just told you one of her clients is an asshole. Connie, right? Why don't you tell me what happened? Get him. He was nice to me, but then I said I wouldn't go into this dirty sewer with him, and he snapped. He threatened me and told me I was an ugly little girl. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, back up. Did you say he tried to get you to go into a sewer? Just a fat, disgusting old pervert. I want to see him again. He was so nice before, it wouldn't hold my hand and say how pretty I was. How did he say all those things? Oh no. I don't know who goes into the sewers. Yep, there's no doubt about it. This client of yours, I know him. You know him? Make him stay away from Akane. Make him stay the hell out of Akia Bar. Before you said you wanted to know about the collective round. About this, make it so me and Akane never have to see his fat, four-eyed, pervert face again. We'll tell you everything you want to know. Well, do we have a deal? Deal. Dealing with who I think we are, and I'll be more than happy to help out. Really? Thank you. I um, I think I heard him say he was heading to a club in Shinjuku before he left for the train station. Oh no! Let's go beat up Goto again. Well, I suppose first and foremost we should. I am wondering, like if I turn in the cat plushie, will that advance the quest? Can we do all of these quests? Before we go beat up Goto, we should talk to Suichi. Ask about, to, ask about to Sashimi. Hi, Suichi, right? So what if you could set up we could set up recurring lunch orders, maybe twice a week or something? Yep, that's no problem at all. We do that kind of thing for a lot of businesses around here. Why do you ask? I'm just at the cat cafe next door and saw one of your boxes, and work's moving me here in a few weeks, so I thought I'd see what my options were. You came from Sachiko's place, huh? Yeah, she's had a standing order with me for years. I'm surprised a woman so small can eat two whole boxes. Uh, two boxes? No, her order, her order is only for one. She was ordering two, I suspect she was feeding it to her cats. <laughs> You're totally not feeding it to her cats. Uh, yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> anyway, do you normally deliver them yourself? I was right next door and a very sweet lady, so I always try to do it personally. That said, when it gets a bit hectic, I ask some of the other regulars around here to run it up for me instead. You see, Sachiko, make sure to give her my regards. I'm trying to go up there next time. I thought that standing order you wanted to set up. I need to think about it a little before. A little bit more. I'll get back to you later. Thanks for the help. A little sketchy, maybe, but definitely not a cat poisoner. If 
Finding who supplied that second box should lead you to a suspect. Oh. What do you say? Do you want to go beat up Goto? I kind of want to go beat up Goto. We're going to beat up Goto, then see if we can go advance uh, further quests. Hey, Miho. Oh, crap. You know, you're bad for business. Don't worry, I'm not planning on staying long. Where's Goto? Goto? You sweet on, you sweet on him all of a sudden now? I'm messing around. You see him? Yeah, I saw him outside the bar 15 minutes ago. Where was he heading? What do you think? Toward his favorite love spot with some little thing in tow. Believe it or not, I did think to follow him beyond that. But be quick. With all you cops hovering around, I doubt he'll stay there for long. Alright, let's go beat up let's go beat up Goto. So Goto's fetishes is quite weird. It's quite normal, but uh Um hi. Oh, if it isn't my favorite detective. I suppose I should thank you. But since that night this place has got more of a uh, dangerous appeal. <laughs> detective? You caught the cops? I'm getting out of here, you creep! Tja, bitch was a prude anyway. But better than me touch her. You're not a prude, though, are you? You're alone. Where do we start from where we left off? Don't look at me like that. She's 16. Old enough to know what she wants. As adults, we can do whatever we want, right? <laughs> okay, you're gonna get... You're gonna get your ass beat now, Goto. Sewer. The standoff. It felt so familiar. That draw gun. Sh shoot him! Bring you the law, asshole. You should be grateful that you hadn't broken out the rope yet. First, I warned you about trespassing. When I find you here again after some girl in Akihabara says you've been harassing her. <laughs> but following me, huh? Didn't realize you liked me that much. It's okay, Detective. I knew why you really came and found me. No one would disturb us down here. Mm -hmm. oh, you're disgusting. How many students have you harassed and lured down here? Like I said, I like them young. <laughs> Watch why you're laughing. Harassment and stalking of a minor is a crime and one that I'm sure your company wouldn't appreciate being public knowledge. I catch you in the sewer again. I catch you in a whiff of your stink around Akihabara. Bring you in myself and make sure everyone knows it. Got it? <laughs> Sit down. Let's just talk this through. Money. You cops aren't paid much, right? Ah, oh, fine. But your supervisor will hear about this. I thought he was an idiot. Goto probably knew why he didn't have a strong case against him. I think that would land him in jail anyway. All I could have hoped for is that his need to maintain appearances compelled him to stay away from Akihabara long enough for me to get the information I needed. Letter of the Law. I am kind of wishing we had threatened him. I'm kind of wishing we had threatened him. And roughed him up a little bit. Oh no, I'm getting too much into... Okay, we can't go back. Alright. Back to Akihabara. We have to do all these kind quests. We have to do all these side quests. I'll at the JK Cafe. Oh, wow. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go back and talk to Sachiko first before we advance this quest. She's not here. Maybe I botched it up by uh... here. Uh, 
Alright, fine, let's go turn in the goat to rest first. Oh, you're back. You don't look so good. I'm fine. Yota won't give you any more trouble. Seriously? How'd you, how'd you convince him to stop? It doesn't matter. Forget him. Jeez, remind me to get on your bad side. At least we owe you, huh? Not if you hold up your end of the deal. Tell me everything you know about this collector. You know, it's everything. So you've got this theory, right? I think he's some sort of hacker. Shooting himself in his room, day in and day out. All that kind of dirt must be great, though. How much he must be loaded? The collector isn't interested in money. Hmm? If you didn't pay him, then how did you get the picture? Morgan, you told her? I told you that was private! Well, since you know anyways... That client star had followed me home and was desperate, so I asked the collector for something that would make him stop bothering me. In exchange, he only asked for one thing. What did he ask for? I used to carry a photo of my dad on me at all times. He died when I was seven years old, and I never told anyone that I had it. Somehow he knew. In exchange for that photo, he gave me the incriminating photo for free. What choice did I have? I was scared, but... But what? Ever since then, I feel like I forget my dad's face a little bit more every day. It's a little... It gets more and more fuzzy. That could be completely mundane, but that, that could also be... That also sounds really weird. Why don't you go back and get it? His shop is right under this arcade. You can get to it through an elevator, but... I never found him again after that day. The elevator doesn't work normally. I tried, you know. Just to see. He controls it, and leaves a sign that it's turned on. What? You never told me that. What you're going after him. Morka, he's dangerous. Listen, I appreciate everything you did for me. Really. Don't go after him. Something I think isn't right with him. I appreciate the concern, Akane, but there's no need to worry about me. I'm sure I've come up against a lot worse than him. Look for three paper cranes hanging from the elevator. If you see them, you'll be able to go down. That's all I can tell you. Thanks. Stay safe, you two. Hmm. Serpent Protect. Got an achievement for that. Heck yeah. Oh, okay, so we do have to do all the quests. Who's gonna be a cues? What'd you have for lunch? Lunch? I'm not interested. Thank you. Cat cafes? Cats? No, no, I don't like cat. Have an allergy. Understand? Okay, you didn't poison anyone. You don't know enough Japanese to order on your own, so. What'd you have for lunch? Why, you asked me on a date, lady? I'm on the clock, you should get a box of sushi from Suichi down the street. You like cat cafes? Oh, yeah, sure, they're alright. I used to have a cat growing up. Okay, you didn't do it. Who's this around to ask? You're here. Hello there. What'd you have for lunch? Oh, that's a weird thing to ask. I got a box lunch at the convenience store. Why? Hmm, you like cat cafes? You wouldn't catch me dead in a place like that. I hate cats. Now I see what they always try and scratch me. Well, they really have free choice. Ooh, we could. He's not around. Do you honestly would have I would have suspected Atsushi. Yeah, that was At Atsushi, but he's not here. Enter. Give flush toy. Ah, 
she's beautiful. Where'd you find her? I deem you Countess Belinda Flufflestuff. Thank you, Nyan. Lady Belinda isn't Samuel, but I suppose one must learn to move on from those things. Wow, that was quick. Anyway, since you're feeling better, can you tell me what you know about this collector now? Of course, Mistress Ayami, Ayami Nyan. I heard you studied fashion design in France, then came to Japan. There's everything there is to know about Akiya, Akiba fashion. Is I the maid costume I have on right now? She didn't ask for money? Strange. How'd you find her? Well, you probably won't believe me, but I spent a lot of time outside promoting the cafe. What if I noticed that the signs would flicker? The images on them would change. I can see from the mistress. I can see from the mistress's explanation that she does not believe me. It's true. I swear my nine lives. It shows you what you want at the sign. Get an invitation to trade. Hmm. Then when there's three paper cranes outside her shop, you go down and she shows you what she has. Her taste is impeccable. She's never wrong. Uh, listen, I get that maids are supposed to play along with fantasies and all that, but that is kind of hard to swallow. What is true, I am be done? Supposedly she got some local computer hacker type to give her access to some of the signs of the area remotely. I think that the other shop owners here don't mind because it only happens occasionally. And the stores probably begin more business at the signs themselves. Am I missing something here? How does she know what you want? I mean, Yan, you're supposed to be the detective, not me. But she's got webcams everywhere so she can see what the girls are wearing and try to bait them in. It's a small group of people who would know that to begin with anyway. It's like subliminal advertising. Nyan. Hmm? Mina Yan? Mina Nyan? What's wrong? No, it's not like that. It's not like what? This dress, the one she made for me, was exactly what I wanted. The bells, the stitching, everything, down to the last detail. Everyone always assumed I had a commission, but I never told anyone the truth because I was scared. Somehow she knew exactly what I wanted. All she asked for in return was the old handmade dress my mother and I made together. Amazing to de an amazing deal, right? Something wasn't right about her, or her shop. I mean, who has a shop that's four levels deep in the basement in a room with no other customers? I felt like some sort of criminal, even though all I was doing was getting a dress. You know that dress, the one I gave up, it was cheap. The thing was subpar, and there were patches all over it from all the times I had to repair it. But all that, I wish I'd never given it away. I think I should try and get it back, but the truth is I'm afraid to. I don't want to go back there. This collector's sounding real suspicious. <laughs> Sorry, Ayami, Ayami Nyan. Kind of got a little serious there. That's everything I know. Oh, thanks again for getting me Lady Belinda. No problem. Don't go losing her now. Maiden, and we made new friends there. Goodbye. I can't talk to you. You're not back. You're just kind of here. I kind of want to accuse you. I kind of want to accuse you just because I don't think you'd really understand what I'm doing. Okay, two cranes now. You like cat cafes, so I don't think you'd do it. But you got lunch from there. So here's what I think happened. Bouncer likes cafes, but got lunch from there. This guy didn't. Hates cat cafes. I think you did. Oh, minus five. Oh no, what the hell are you talking about? Why, what cats? Why would I do something like that? Mistakes were made. Hmm.
where they're going now. Hmm. You're doing well, investigation-wise. Or professionalism even now. I genuinely don't know what the right answer is here, as far as who did the poisoning. I don't really have any hints here. Oh, possible. Could be. We'll try it. I got it. Huh? How'd you? Wait, wait, wait! It's not what you think. I'm at the apartment above her shop. And the fripple's always yelling all night. Oh. No job owner gives the sashimi at lunch. So I just added some laxatives to it. Is all. Wouldn't seriously hurt him or nothing. That's fucked up. To clean up is fair payback for a cat's getting keep me up day after day. Woman's ruining my damn life and doesn't care. No, I'm not the only one who thinks that either. You should be glad it was me who taught her the lesson, not someone else. Alright, fine, I get it. We're at the end of your rope. The thing is, I'm kind of a cat person, I'm kind of a cop. Consider this a warning. Y yeah half right. That still ain't cool. Fine. What have you say, lady? That that just ain't cool. You don't do that to animals. You don't do that. I ain't right. This may not surprise you, but your upstairs neighbor isn't your biggest fan. Talk to me, the little rat. What did he do? Is Tumbo going to die? If he does, if he does, I'll wring his little neck. No, no, it's only some laxatives. The food, I think you wanted to ruin your day, not harm the cat seriously. Oh, thank goodness, I'm so relieved. It's laxatives, Tomo should be fine in a day or two once it clicks out of his system. What a little scumbag. What's his problem? I wish the cats have been keeping him up at night. A few weeks of that, and anyone might crack. Hey, you're right. I'm so used to it, I didn't notice that. I'll get a con contractor to come out and see about finally soundproofing this place. Oh. Tomo, you didn't hit me. You didn't make my heart stop. I'm glad you'll be okay. Hmm. His point could have gotten across. He had a reasonable complaint, but his point could have gotten across much better without new poisoning a cat. That one mystery is behind us. Could we return to our discussion about the Collector? Of course, I only visited her once. I wanted to add a very rare Balinese breed to the cafe. After searching for weeks, I was convinced there was nowhere to be found in Tokyo. I was given up hope. I got an email out of the blue from her saying she had the breed I was looking for, and to come to her shop. As far as it to say, I was ecstatic. Business was doing all right. So I had some money to spare, too, only... Only she didn't want money. She wanted panda. What? She wanted a panda. Uh, no, panda was the name of an old cat I had. She was nothing special. Old mixed breed who moved to Tokyo with me when I was starting up. Yeah, honestly. It feels like they could be Im could have been implied that he might have tried to raise it with her, but she didn't believe him that they were that noisy. It could be implied that that was the case, but it's still I do not approve of resorting to such methods. But if that was the case, and he did try, it's a bit understandable, but. Still not cool. Don't like that.
Anyway, the collector seems really interested in objects of sentimental value. I doubt I would have started this business if it wasn't for him. He was also really old and having some health problems. The collector said she'd take care of him, give him the best medical care, give him the best food. And his last days would be in complete comfort. In exchange, he'd give me the Balinese kitten for free. That was the right thing to do. But Panda was family. What kind of person am I? I gave him away. I miss him so much. I tried to go back and give the kitten back for Panda, but the three cranes outside of her shop were gone. I never saw her or Panda again. That's all I remember. Sorry. Remembering Panda always makes me sad. Thanks for the help. I... I should get back to work. Don't eat the fish. Let's see what we got. Sorry for accusing you of poison. Oh, do you notice that? Oh, that screen is changing. Look at that screen change. Yeah, the collector knows we are coming. Let's watch that screen change for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, Lilac. It's, it's probably unlikely that that was the case with what happened. That'd be the one way we could justify you could justify the action he took, but it does seem unlikely. Alright. It's clearly telling us that the Collector is ready to see us. What are we gonna give up? Oh, oh, these signs are going places. That's just weird. With the ribbon on. And this one is him dying. That's that's unpleasant. Somewhere over the rainbow. Maybe there's signs that could be. Well, that's really cool. He's in all of the signs. The collector is ready to see us. That's it. Paper cranes, but to the elevator lit up now. Oh, this is an ominous elevator. Doesn't seem right. Doesn't match the descriptions I got at all. <laughs> Who was that? Who's there? Raina. Is that you? Who's there? Around you. Interesting, isn't it? It said the cranes can grant a wish. She saw the sign. What is it you wish for? Huh? And I've been one to believe in wishes. You him. The Collector. Collector. Crow. What are many names given to me over the years? Ah, but we've no time to waste on such boring, trivial things as introductions. Don't you want to know who I am? I know who you are, Detective Ito. Or should I say, Investigator? So hard to keep straight. I suppose it's irrelevant what you call yourself now that you have arrived exactly where you need to be. Hmm. Things different. Yes, yes. What is it, I wonder? Ah, that's it. You're like me after a fashion. You see things differently from those around you. The world is not so solid and unchanging as it is for them. Things bend. They break. Am I wrong? No. Nothing's been the same since Kamakura. And yes, yes, of course. The girl you murdered, Reina, was that your fault? Yeah.
If he sees the world in the same way, then you are a puppet, dancing at the end of your strings to a tune you cannot hear. No, that's not what I said. I'm no one's puppet. Are you so sure, detective? Do you really feel like everything you've done is under your control? That, when faced with the impossible, you're so certain that every choice you make is your own? I... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're made for me. Uh, hey now, don't mind me. I'm just out here making decisions for you. Which is easier, I wonder. The knowledge that the cause of all your suffering and your joy is your own doing. Or someone else's. I don't have time for this. Oh, of course, of course. Our conversation is tilted towards the, the philosophical. But you are not here for philosophy. I want something more... tangible. I want information. Facts. No. It's my business to want to know what people desire. That is not what you want. It's not what you seek. What is it you want? Truly. Tanaka. I want to know what really happened to him. No, it's not only that. I want to know what's... I want to, I want to know what's happening to me, too. Nothing makes sense anymore. I'm tired of chasing after clues that lead to dead ends. Perhaps I can be of some help to you. But first, please indulge me. I have a few questions. I'm curious. So curious. Such a unique visitor, after all. Yeah, there's nothing like the others. Fine, what, what do you want to know? I find it interesting that someone like you would drink on the job. Uh, huh? In the hostess bar two weeks ago? Yeah, what of it? It seems so obvious a mistake. Why did you make it? Calling me out again. For information. That is, that was my thought process, so. As for the case, I didn't think I'd get information otherwise. Not that it changed anything. On the night of your partner's disappearance, you found your way into the sewer using a man. Why him? What in saw him? I just placed him in that sewer. Why not go directly to the source? What is this? Some sort of psych test? Maybe. I came here for answers, not for the games. It's no game, detective. I can give you what you seek. So this is my price. That's it? If you want information to use against me, it seems you've already got enough. Blackmail? How pedestrian. Simplistic. Uh, no, no, I have no interest in that. What do you want? Everything I collect brings me closer to an understanding, much like you. Only the puzzle I assemble is considerably larger, and the piece you provide is well worth the trouble. Shall we continue? And do I have a choice? You've already made it. You show such a little... such little patience, Detective. Surprising considering the effort you took to get here. The girl, Reyna, she's the one you've been chasing, yes? Let's talk about her. I like the commentary about my early decisions. Why did you shoot her again in the sewer? She's holding your dear Tanaka at knife point. Why didn't you pull the trigger? Hmm. This is one of these. be true, we didn't actually draw our gun until the possession took hold in Kamakura. So this is the honest, uh... I feel like this is the honest Ito answer here. Before police officer, it sounds soft, but I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Even with Tanaka at the end of a knife, I thought it might end peacefully. Hmm. Interesting. Most interesting. Though she's gone, the sleepless nights continue, don't they? Taking your pills twice. 
Does that have to make a difference? Do they help? Do not make you question the futility of it all. Most interesting. Perhaps you've told me enough. Yes, yes, this is most useful. I accept this trade. In return, you want... What was it? Ah, yes, that's right. A path. Way forward. I suppose it's your turn to ask the questions now. Where's Tanaka? Is he alive? In the dark. Whether he lives... Hmm. That is more difficult. The dark. That's not the first time I've heard that. What is it? Where can I find it? The other question is, where can it, where can it not be found? Can you not feel it around you? Following you at every turn. Pays great mind to those within its walls. You know of whom I speak. The common thread that binds all the misery in your heart. Reina, if that's where she is, Tanaka must, must, be, must be there too. The girl's thread is a complicated one. Yes, very tangled. Begins in, Cab begins in Cabochico. Cabochico. And a talent agency called Omega. Cabochico. I know it well enough. As I imagine any officer of the law would. The dark is a sacred place. It lives and breathes. It changes shape and goes where it pleases. It is the girl whose suffering determines its shape. Without understanding its root, you will never find your way, or it could tear you apart. Like it, almost, like it almost has already. The mask. I don't know why. Hello. Uh, oh. I get this hunch that you'll know what this is. What is it? Reno is obsessed with it. it. Must be important, but I can't figure it out. Ah, I see. Most interesting relic. Makes people do the most fascinating things. <sighs> Why did Reyna want it so badly? It is a tool. Instead of living in fear of it, why not use it? You be the key that will help you find your precious Tanaka. Though as powerful as it is, one cannot expect to use it knowing nothing about it. You said it yourself, it all started in Kamakura. The Kawanas have had have quite a history with that mask. The Kawanas. My, the Shrine Maiden girl. Her grandmother was the one who gave it to me. The very same. It gives me the creeps. Maybe I should have gotten rid of it. Don't do that. You'll never find your way without it. And what are you? A dressmaker, a cat breeder, a blackmailer. It seems that no one in this room can agree on anything about you, except your name. There's no way anyone could have, could know. What do you do? It's impossible. So what are you? Take a look around you. It's not familiar. You do not smell it. The stench of corruption. I've been here for so long. Longer than you can imagine. The desires, the loves, the hatred of mankind flow through this place. For you, detective, I'm exactly who you need me to be. Hmm. So some kind of being who literally appears to people as the person they need to see. That's just which is why uh, Sachiko and uh, I don't remember our maid cafe friend. saw the collector as a girl. Dressmaker and cat breeder. Now shall we return our attention to the matter at hand. Or trade, after all. Not for the knowledge of how I fit into your story. But for a way to clear the... Uh, how did you put it? Yeah, yes, to clear the dead ends you run up against. Let us reconsider your problem. Mask and the Dark are ex inexorably linked. Swing one without the other is futile. Now you are an enemy of the dark. I reject you without understanding it. Be lost without the necessary tool. Minanyan, yes. Thank you. 
How do I know when a path's been opened? Ask your puppet master. Why into the bargain has it been upheld? You seem awfully eager to help me. What's the, what's the catch? Nothing tells me I'm going to regret talking to you. Paranoia. An unnecessary feeling. As I said, people fascinate me. Especially ones as unique uh, as yourself. You are a detective. They're giving you the tools you need to finish the job. There. Ah, now that is the interesting part. I look forward to seeing your progress. Consider your debt to be partially repaid. The rest I shall collect at another time. Ah, another time, aka we're going to be judged on our decision to the next portion of the game. Fair enough. Tell me, tell me, my little puppet. You can see your strength as your dance not continue. Until we meet again. This is an ominous place. Well, where does this leave us? You have the new destination? The air in the crypt space was stagnant and heavy. If I'd stayed any longer, I felt like it may have suffocated me. By the time I was there, Akihabara faded away to a distant memory. I turned to the surface, my hand up to shield my eyes from the sunlight and listen to the people on the street. The conversation seemed so pointless, a part of a world I no longer belonged to. I see sounds of the street swept the cobwebs from my mind. Forced me to remember everything I told the collector, everything he impossibly knew. I told him so much, but did I have a choice? Maybe he was right, and I was a puppet after all. At that moment, it didn't matter. The dark and the masked book belonged to a world I was now part of. What methods of investigation wouldn't leave it to them? Now this path would narrow to two. I no choice but to march forward towards the leads I'd been given. I left Akihabara behind. One thing bothered me. How did the collector know so much about me? Is it really so easy to read? I didn't have time to dwell on it. Kazuki and Reina were in the dark. That much I had been all but confirmed. And I now had a means, however impossible, to find them. Through the mask, right? Two paths, the mask and the dark. Both were necessary and I had to make make a choice of which to follow first. Just after a talent agency in Tokyo's red light district, back to Kamakura to visit mine. The girl I nearly got killed. Never seemed very appealing. Logical side didn't understand how either would help. The thing around me cracked and crumbled away. Logic didn't matter anymore. I had to choose. Maybe something would choose for me. Hmm. These are our only options. We do have a third option. And that's to sign out. And save the decision for another time. Oh, we have been going for four and a half hours. Who's still with me right about now? I'm thinking it's about time we call it a night. Oh, man, I'm getting really into this. <laughs> This feels like a good point to leave off, anyways, story-wise. Yeah, I'm really, gl I'm really glad that this got pushed to the top of the vote. I'm really enjoy, I'm really enjoying this. I'm not gonna lie. I might try and uh, really has even from the beginning, the lilac. From the very beginning, I did see you follow. Way back before this started, too, so. Yeah, it's definitely. Go get food. Go get food. I'm gonna sign out for tonight. I'm gonna sign out for tonight. Thanks for hanging out. I really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed the time. And. Let's 
this. Let's do this again sometime.